All right, Big Mag, today is Monday, it's December 6th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. We are joined by a frequent guest, I believe the first guest. He's back after the Sopranos draft, Rico Bosco. It's got to be the most guest. It's got to be the most guest yeah. appearances. Easily, easily, yeah. I'd say. What's which I five? honor, which I honor. I am mm-hmm. very honored to be that, that have that on my IMDb. Well, it's clear that you are feeling honored because you wore the Barstool Chicago <laughs> like entire merch store. Yeah. So exactly. So appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. You wore that, and you hijacked the boss's office, which... Uh, that's gonna, I'm going to get a bad rap, and I'm sure the commenters are going to start tagging me. I First thing I said, they're like, hey, we're doing it in Dave's office. I'm like, that's cleared? They're like, yeah, that's cleared. Austin's okay. I'm like, all right. Now, Austin is a all-time hanging-out-to-dry guy, <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But I got my notebook. I'm, I'm sitting, in, uh, yeah, sitting in the big guy's chair. <laughs> is he in town? Uh, I don't know. I know oh, okay. I haven't seen him yet today, but it was cleared. Yeah, and you better back that up. <laughs> if he walks in in forty-five minutes, it would be it'd be that'd be pretty fucking an all time. Great, it'd be great. Yeah. What would he say to you, Rico? He'd just be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Like, I'd be like, Bru- "I mean, talk to your guys. It's awesome. Yeah. What do you want me to do?" You know what, though, I do feel like he would have good um, good words for this topic because I think it's a great topic. One that I'm very excited for, and something that I realized, I think this is my favorite genre of movies. And you're a big movie guy. Yeah, I think. And you are like a genre movie guy, yeah. too. I, see, I don't know if it even, you could consider this a genre yeah, because it it's, it's, but it's got like comedy, it's got drama, it's got. Yeah, but like the inner workings all take place between like. You know, yeah, teenagers no, who are you. figuring it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, you know, like the, the the chaos and the stressors of, you know, the lunch table and the like the hallways and everything. There's something about it that's like. Have funny. we clearly introduced everything? Not yet, but I assume people have read the uh, title. Mm-hmm. It's a teen movie draft. Um, and uh, you know what? I think we might get into semantics here. I hope we don't, but of course we always will. We've done, I don't know, 80, 90 of these, and we always get into semantics, but. Uh, just looking at Wikipedia, there were some like ones that I didn't agree with that would be teen movies, but I don't know. We'll we'll we'll, we'll play yeah, it out. Yeah, we'll, we will. I'm interested to see how it goes because I think you can split hairs on a lot of things. You don't give away picks, but I think what Eddie's saying and I, and having done a bunch of drafts with you guys and what you guys like, the high school kids figuring it out. There's gonna be some movies that take place with teenagers that I don't think are teen movies if that mm-hmm. makes sense mm-hmm. so we'll, yeah. we'll do, mm-hmm. it'll be an interesting Agreed. like post show too and that's what all right we got the hmm from chief i would like chief to describe to me what he thinks a teen movie is it's like kind of like the definition of pornography right like it's hard to define but you know it when you see it like the old u.s supreme court thing so i would, Some would say, say a better example of that chief is love not pornography but <laughs> i mean that was that's like the more famous example all right, that's like enough. it's like written fair into enough. law. I'm pretty sure, um, or like in a, in a court case. So I I don't. I guess we'll. I would say where like teens are the stars, and it's like kind of has maybe a little bit of a, a coming of age um, yeah. theme theme to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So we'll see. We'll see. It should be should be an interesting one, and there of course you're gonna have shit that people haven't seen, but we'll uh, we'll pick it up from there. Dave, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah. Feeling good? All right. Um, all right. We'll do the uh, order now. Um, intern Lance is a number one through five behind his back. Rico, what number is it? Three. Three? It is three, Rico. Wow, so I've never to, uh, won before. Uh, damn. Unprepared. Wasn't no, prepared no, to win. No, <laughs> no, I... I... I'm going to go. I'm going to let the draft play out. I'm going to go with three. Be right okay. in the middle. Carl, one through four. Two. No. Uh, Chief. Three. No. Four. No. One. Yes, sir. I'm going to take number two. I'm going to take number two. Uh, <laughs> I know. I know one you. through three, uh, Carl. Three. No. Chief. One. Unfortunately not. Fuck. Two, and I'll take the first pick. I know where he's going. I know I, where he's going too. Yeah, I didn't where want am I him going? to get that. I didn't want him to get that. But uh, one or two, Carl. Do one. Do we know where Dave's going? No. Is it a clear I, cut one? I, I know where Dave's going. I guess I'll percent. go. I'll go four. You'll go four. So Carl, you'll be fifth. Which 
I said earlier. You called that. I don't know if you can, called that if you wanted that spot. Just, or, I came he, in today and I was like, "This is, I'm picking fifth today." Not a bad draft to go fifth. Today. Oh, I, I think I, I sincerely love picking fifth today. Yeah, I'm I happy I traded down. I want to see how it plays out. <laughs> yeah, you, um, you deferred to the second half. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um. Also, congrats to me for winning the tool draft. I think Plunger sealed it. In the you guys never round. congratulated for me winning the. Uh, what draft did I win? I don't think you've won in months. No, he did. The I won two ago. Draft. You won the thankful draft. Yeah, the thankful oh, draft. Oh, did you? I did. <clears throat> oh, we didn't We didn't because we recorded beforehand. So yeah. congratulations to congrats, you as well. Congrats, Dave. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Hey, Dave. Congratulations. Thank you, Ryan. I'm kind of pissed that I... I, I got congratulations from everybody in the room except Carl. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. You know, Dave was the only person I didn't want to pick ahead of me because I know where he's going. Why? I think... I, I, I don't know exactly where really? he's going. Really? There's one or two ways he could go. What I've never seen Dave this happy before <laughs> in my life. Well, you guys know me better than I know me personally, so apparently, so where am I going? I actually uh, will do well, I can't on, do it because I don't want to give away picks. Before we do, um, Dave, you were a teenager before. I, I um, think so, yeah. You know, you wanted to, you know, probably put on a better performance with your uh, your first woman you had under the yeah. covers. Uh, <laughs> what do you wish you had back in those days? I, I wish Roman was Describe around that back experience in like for us. you know, fifteen years ago or whatever. It would have been it would have been nice. It would have been a lifesaver. I wouldn't embarrass myself. I would have, I think, you know, known what I was doing a little more. Um, but Roman, if I would have had Roman, like I probably would have been married to that girl right now. Yeah, yeah. You're tossing them around at the lunch table. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, sneaking off into the wrestling gym where nobody goes. You know, get a little where there's ringworm. Take some chances at ringworm and infantigo. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, you know, reciting Frank Thomas's 1994 baseball stats doesn't always work. Yeah, and it didn't work those days either. Especially yeah. like that was early, uh, early Google. You didn't have the advanced metrics back then, so you were really using your brain to last longer. I bet. Thankfully, you don't got to do that anymore. Roman swipes are a clinically proven way to help you. Effective, easy to use, and fast acting. They don't require a prescription. They ship to you in discreet, unmarked packaging. And each swipe packet is small enough to hide in your wallet for whenever you need it. Very easy to use. Take the swipe out of the packet. Swipe it out and let it dry. You're good to go. That's it. It does not transfer to your partner. Go to getroman.com slash walk. You can get your first month of swipes for just $5 when you choose a monthly plan. It's getroman.com slash walk. Go get some Roman. Hey, Rico, have you ever heard the story when White Sox Dave went home with one shoe? We don't got to rehash that one. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm sure it's an old-timer, though. Yeah, I, I was wondering if you had Roman, if you would have just been like, give me that shoe. <laughs> probably, I just gave you probably, the time of your life. Probably. Yeah. Um, she was right. probably more disgusted with me than she was of herself. Without further ado, Dave, I think I know where you're going. Well, I, are we allowed to do this? No, I want, we can't I want, say it, but pick who you're going to pick, and I'm yeah. going to tell you if I was right so, or not. So, here, text, write, Everybody write it down on their computers however they think they're doing it. I am going with the first overall selection in the 2021 teen movie Snake Draft. I'm going with American Pie. Oh. What did you think I was going to do? That? I'm gonna, hey, I'm gonna, I think uh, it's like the easiest 1-1 one, one ever, man. That, I mean, every every... Age group has their movie. Our age group, we're all similar in age. Rico, how old are you again? 34. Okay, I'm 33. Carl's 34. Chief's 38 or 9 or something like that. Ed's the youngest. Anyways, like, we're all close enough in age where... (laughs) The slander. American Pie is that teen movie for our our age group. It was like, it was the first time you probably saw tits. Nadia, gotta shout her out. Probably, to this day, the nicest tits I've ever seen on... (laughs) On the, oh, big, on the like, big screen? On the big sure. screen or in person. I mean, and that's just not a lie. That's not being horny. That's just me saying what every guy thinks. Am yeah. I wrong? They're, they're immaculate. That's they're just immaculate. just looking at a changeup and saying it's a good changeup. It's like a Pedro Martinez 90, 1998 changeup. Yep. Um, but the, the soundtrack's awesome. The storyline is just awesome. A bunch of fucking you know, high school kids trying to get laid, trying to find out what they're doing with their lives. Uh, we met um, uh, Kevin a couple years ago. Uh, why am I? Uh, what's his fucking name? Uh, Kevin from American Pie. Henry Rowan Deer. Gartner. Henry Rowan Gartner. Uh, he told us kind of background info on the movie. Like Kevin was supposed to be like this jaded kid because his parents got divorced and he was afraid of love. Blah blah blah. But it's just a great story. Great story. Obviously, uh, Jim and uh, the band Freak fall in love. I, I love everything about it, and I think it's the it's the absolute runaway one one pick, especially with like 
and it's not a pander, but like I think our listenership would agree. It's a hundred percent a first round pick. I agree. Yep. I, however, I didn't think that's what you were taking. I'll get into it later at some point. Um, but it's you know everyone. I think we've talked ad nauseum about how much I love American Pie. Mm-hmm. We all so love, I love it. the pick, Dave. It's a we great all love pick. it. Mm-hmm. I um, mean, it, the, just the movie cover in and of itself is like iconic. It's iconic. It's a fucking American Pie with a dick hole in it. <laughs> and and we got to shout <laughs> out Tara Reid. Tara Reid was a fucking smoke show. Tara Reid was Tara Reed. super hot. Dave. Super Dave. fucking yeah. hot. Just Peak smoking Tara hot. Uh, the tongue twister. What is it? The tongue, tongue tornado. tornado. Tongue, tongue tornado. tornado. Mm-hmm. Yeah, insane. Everything and that was like an educational movie too, mm-hmm. big time education. Casey movie. Affleck went on to be a star, but like he's got this as icing on the cake. Like people, <laughs> it's forgot so about, funny. You know he what he I mean? just like, won an Oscar for what's it yeah. called? Yep. Uh, he won a best fucking actor. Manchester. Manchester, Manchester by the yeah. Sea. Yeah. Manchester yeah. by he the Sea. He also he steals the show in Goodwill Hunting. You could say yep. to an extent, like. Give my uh, gone burn. baby gone. He's unbelievable. Yep. Like whatever. Casey Affleck to have this as like a oh yeah he's in that. Like, amazing. Now, on my last point on American Pie, when he's about to uh, use his fingers to pleasure Nadia, I remember the first time I saw the movie, I had no idea what the fuck he was doing. I'm like, why? Like, what's wrong with him? I didn't realize he was blowing his load early. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I definitely did <laughs> yeah, not catch that. I had that no on. idea I did until, not catch like, you know, on. I was probably 12 or 13. I think yeah. it came out in 98, I believe. Uh, I believe it's I would 99. Have been nine, okay, I would have been 9 or 10 years old. I was born in 88. Yeah. Uh, 10, 11 years Good old. Good pick. But uh, that's my pick, American Pie, and I, and I don't think there's a single thing you can pick about it. Good pick, pick David. Pick. Good pick. Real Absolutely good pick. a first-round pick. Uh-huh. Um, I'm up, and I, honestly, there's so many I love. I, it's This is so hard. It's, it's You it, said it, it before the draft. This might be my favorite genre, too. I know. Like, it's as a whole. unbelievable. Yeah. Like, I'm go, looking at, you can go so many different fucking yeah, ways. Yeah, you really can. Yep. I'm looking at seven picks that I'd love to have right here. Mm-hmm. Seven and now in my head because I know another one that I think Rico really wants, so I'm like, I'm all over the place. Mm-hmm. So I whatever. I'm just gonna shoot and hope that uh, you know. Okay. I have enough points at the end. Uh, this is the one. I'm gonna go with the one where I thought. <laughs> what the fuck? I think I know where uh, you're gonna go. Enough points to win. Okay. Sure. I think I know where you're gonna go now. Do you? I think so. Because here's where I thought Dave was going. I'm just gonna take it right now because I think no chance it gets back to me, and I'm gonna take ten things I hate about you. I love the movie. It's, it's not movie. where I was gonna go. I wow. really thought Dave was going to go there. She had beer-flavored the nipples or what, man? It's a great line from that movie. It's a great movie, and the cast is fucking outstanding. Yes. What's his name? Joey Donner. I wrote a blog. It was one of our first blogs we wrote full-time, the most punchable oh, yeah, faces in, in like movie big or time. TV history. It's Joey Donner, right? Is that his name? Yes. Joey Donner, like the antagonist of the movie, has... He and who I, I'm not like shit talking the actor I forget his name but Andrew Keegan Andrew I Keegan. took him in the in the fucking um, Camp Nowhere I was hot that's, yes. that's not eligibly dressed. he should have won an Oscar yes, for that correct. that pre-team. role because he just to perfection knocked out like the douchey high school fuck face Big I time. took him in the heartthrob draft I He's hate that throb. guy yeah. and I love to hate him what he a, was great Heath Ledger unbelievable you know who voice. else is in it fuck the 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 elf from uh, the Santa Claus Bernard. Oh yes, yes. Bernard yes. is yes. in it. Bernard Ooh. plays a great side friend in, yes. in the late '90s. Carl, he was a star. He had that show Numbers that people liked. He went on to be all right, and I mean the lead. Uh, he was on Third Rock from the Sun, which I never watched. Yes, he turned no, out to be Robin in Batman. Uh, Why are we blanking kid? on his name? It's fucking uh, Joseph Gordon Love. Yeah, Joseph yeah. Gordon Love. Yeah, yeah. 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 He was in. He's uh, become like a superstar. Recently. Yeah, 500, yeah. I mean, he's a stud. That cast is lights out. And Rico, I think we'd be remiss to not let you give your take on a woman in that movie. There, first off, you want to talk <laughs> Dave Smokes, Larissa Olnick. No, oh, she's one yeah. of the all-time smokes, all-time nineties. Faded smoke. into the oblivion. Sad story. And but, Gabriel uh, Union's a smoke, mm-hmm. without time. a doubt. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm still holding a future ticket of Julia Stile to win multiple Oscars. <laughs> it's getting. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it's getting it's getting glim. I'm waiting for I, I think maybe, you know I need to hit a couple of Super Bowl contests in a row and then I could just devote my life to writing her that script, which would be like a mom role now. But uh I, I would be it. happy with one, but I just love Julia Stiles. The only season of Dexter I've ever watched, I found out she was on it and I watched it because of Julia Stiles. I love Julia Stiles. I think she's unbelievable. Rico has besides like some things are bigger than sports tweets. 
like top five tweets and like even volume as well. His take that Julia Stiles is going to win an Oscar mm-hmm. might be one of my favorite ones. Yeah, she's it's just, she's <laughs> likable. She's a Met you fan. Know what? She's likable. I believe him. I like. I believe him. And then what was the uh, the Born Supremacy movies? Yeah. I thought she was good in those. I think Julia Stiles. Like I think Rico's right. He's yeah. onto something with this Julia Stiles thing. <laughs> Oh man! But uh, I you, you, that, that seemed to that surprise movie. you. That or what did you? What did you? Have? Well, I think it surprised me, and I'll come surprised up. I'll come back me. to it later why it surprises me knowing you for as long. You know, I mean, like I know uh-huh. where you stand on a lot of team movie stuff, but I did want to say a great thing, a great aspect of teen movies is the is the parent relationship. A lot of times, the father. And ten things I hate about you has a great yeah. father. Yeah. Right? He's just a concerned yeah. father, yeah. Yep. a strict, stoic father. The we, pregnant suit that yeah, he makes. I mean, the he's work. a great yeah. dad. Yeah. He's a great teen movie dad. Yeah. Where did we you guys? Larry all Miller's the name of the yeah. actor. Yeah. We should. Where did you should've. guys all see this? I'm old enough to have seen this in the theaters at like twelve. I, I, I didn't see it. I did not see it. I did not see it in the theaters. I'm old enough. in a car. Might have seen it. I saw it in a Mount Greenwood basement at a girl who went to St. Chris. Christina's house with like a group of brother ice kids and a group of mother Macaulay girls. <laughs> it, that's a great movie for yeah, that. Yeah, it's a fucking perfect. I just saw it on VHS. Movie. My sisters had it, and I was like, oh, yeah, this that's is how pretty I'm sure I good. saw it. We and like went you know, and rented it from a video store. On the, it's a know. great. I think the you thing know, about these teen movies, so we'll unpack it at the end, but like the messages, like we love it, but when you unpack it, right? So he, she finds out that he paid, <laughs> he paid somebody to go out with her, and then to make it up, he gives her a guitar and everything's happy and they're playing, you know, like. <laughs> He also, buys her off. All time ending when they're singing that song uh on top of that high school. Unbelievable. That that that's not are you talking about the middle of the movie when she's playing soccer in their play? And I no, love that's you, no, baby. that's him singing. Um, the ending yeah. is them performing up on like a roof. Oh, it's yeah, uh yeah, are they yeah. doing like a choreographed I want some, dance? I, I want some I want somebody to want you or I want you to I want, want me or something. That it's, you uh, to want it's, me. Yeah, it's it's yeah. that's cool. underrated it's un- soundtrack. Top school of all time. Like uh, who goes to that fucking high school? <laughs> that says high school. It's Seattle Skyline High School. Heard, it's like yeah, a powerhouse yeah, a football program. Story. Yep. Yeah. Um, I really thought that's what you were going to take because I know you love that movie. I, I'm I love that. It's one of my – I would put it you're, maybe top ten all time. No, you're, su- I, you're surprised. I'm surprised or do you this think that- one felt – I'm not surprised in both of those picks. I am surprised that people like 10 Things I Hate About You as much as I did. I was so res- – I give it credit. Like it's it one of those of, movies. Like when you're a ten year old, you're like, I can't watch this. It's a fucking girl movie. But like as you get older and you just stop giving a fuck about that kind of shit, you're like, this is just legitimately a very good movie. Yeah. What were, what were you saying, Rico? Sorry. I'm surprised what th- this one has felt to me, and now I'm in a difficult spot. Yeah, you're up. So feel, yeah. Feel so free all right. To- so I'm choosing between two. Like. Uh, Because one of them, all right, I, I'm not going to give anything away. I'm, maybe I can get this one in the second round. But you talk high school movies, and, like, uh, I asked my siblings, like, hey, just in a group text, like, hey, give me some things that you maybe forget, like teen movies, so I don't miss them all. And my brother's quote was, super bad five times. When you talk about, like, high yeah. school hijinks, like, got to go get the beer and – you end up somewhere else, IDs. and you like a girl, and she doesn't like you, and the awkward kiss. I mean, super bad. It's wet your pants funny. It's about buddies. It's kind of like the blog I wrote the other day about the music. Like, uh, it's the beginning of the end. They kind of know what's going on. You know, they can't be friends forever. Um, I, I just, I thought it was, I thought super bad was when you talk about high school, teen movies. Like this one's yeah, right at the it's, top. Yeah, it's I'll, absolutely I'll take, a first rounder. I got to super bad. It's a home run pick, but in a weird way, Superbad is so damn good that it almost transcended just being a teen movie. I get you. Into like one of the best comedies of all time for me. Yeah. One of the best movies, period, yeah. of all time. You know what I mean? It just kind of took it's, away like like the like the I don't I don't know how to exactly well, it, describe it. It's a it. timeless movie. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. it doesn't matter if you were born in the fifties, if you were born in the eighties, you know, nineties, two thousands now. Like it that movie is something that everybody has been in that situation and it doesn't ma- like so they it doesn't ma- to it, yeah, yeah you can relate to it no matter how old you are when you saw it it's it's a great great movie i saw that in theaters i was a senior in high school i think it might have been the first r rated movie i legally went and saw on my own and i remember i was like getting a ab workout i was just keeled over laughing so hard the entire movie it's great. It's yep. a fantastic movie. One of my favorite teen aspects of that movie, like, is when you know when you're teenagers and stuff, is coming across cool cops. 
That was such a thing. Like the <laughs> cops are here, and then when like you encountered a cool cop at a house party or someone breaking up something at like the park or whatever, it was like, oh no, that guy's cool. Like, oh, that's the cool one. Yeah, yeah. I thought they did a great job, Super Red, showing Nick off. Nick like, Lovin, the... are you getting laid? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I feel like that was like a kind of a coming out movie roles for a lot of people in that movie. Jonah like, the, Hill, could, Michael I mean, Sarah. They, yeah, like those guys have both done. I think uh, like What's Freaks and Geeks and. Emma Stone, Emma Stone, like yeah. that had like a, a monster cast before they were known as like you know, as Didn't universally Jonah, known. Jonah Hill won a Best Supporting Actor in Moneyball. I'm pretty sure. Or is he? I know yeah, he was. I up think for he was it. nominated. He for was sure. not, yeah, yeah, I know he was yeah. nominated. He might have won it. Yeah. He's respected by his peers. Like he's he's in fucking Wolf like of Wall Street. Yeah, like he's, like he's become serious like roles a now. legitimate A list guy instead of yeah. just a teen comedy guy. Right. Yeah, but he can it, still do the fucking hysterical shit. Yep. That's exactly. I think Jonah Hill is awesome. He is. The uh, you know who my my favorite little cameo in the, in the in the movie is is Clegg from uh, um, fucking <laughs> Kenny Powers Eastbound and Down. Oh yeah, yeah. He's yeah. like, dude. <laughs> he like not, wipes the period blood off his pants. It's Clegg. McBride. Yeah, yeah. That's not the uh, <clears throat> that's not the moment I thought you were gonna quote. What did you think I was going to quote? One of the girl walking down the street. Yeah, I got to catch a glimpse of these warlocks. <laughs> I, I was about to bring that up because Trent, our co-worker, went to high school with that girl. Relentless. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah. And wow. you don't even see her face. She's like off in the distance. He's like, I got to catch a glimpse. And they just start sprinting after her. How like did that of, conversation come up? Did he just text you one day and be like, hey, I know you're no, a big warlock guy? No, he tweeted about it. <laughs> <laughs> he tweeted about it. Oh, has it? Oh. And he, I did ask about the warlocks, and he could confirm uh, – <laughs> Like fully confirm <laughs> that she did have great warlocks. Yeah, Rico, it's a great pick. But like, did what I say make sense though? Like yeah, it's, just, it's, it's, it's like transcended the teen genre. It's still a it's teen, so good. It's a teen. Totally, movie. totally. Yes. Yeah, it's it's a good pick though. Um, Chief, you're up. Hmm. Well, know. why no? Why oh no? I don't know. I, ever, I just get nervous when you say the hmm. Well, I just I feel like this is such a deep it's draft. Hard. It's very yeah. hard. It's very like hard. those are all legitimate first round picks, but I'm not sure I would have picked any of them. You know, mm -hmm. um, so I think I'll I'll go with more of like a classic. I'll go a little bit older. I'll take the Breakfast Club. So Breakfast Club, another one of those just like very relatable. Doesn't matter when you you know how old you were when you saw it, where what era you're from. Like it's just a all time classic movie. One of those movies. It's on TV all the time, and I will always stop for at least like one full like through a commercial break. So I love The Breakfast Club, another one that's one of my all-time favorites, and I think it has to be a first-round pick. Uh, so I'm happy to get it for. Can I say something? You think yeah. it stinks? you never seen it. No, I've seen it. Oh. I think it's a little overrated. It's fine. I, but I, it's I, more I about like the message and like yeah. the, I, I, I get your point, Dave, yeah. but it's like a larger. I also think like that movie kind of invented the genre. No. No? Wrong. Fra well, I don't want to give away any yeah. picks, but like Wrong. that that well, that era of movies, they all kind of came nah, out at the same Chief, time. Well, no, that's not true. Chief, Wrong. there were movies coming out a ton in the eighties like that. It was just the best yeah. of that yeah. time. Okay, that's, that's and when you fine. talk yeah. about teen movies, right? Like the ending. The freak, the basket case, yep. like the jock. Yep. That is a teen movie, like without a doubt. Now, the more and more you watch it, can you nitpick it? Like the dancing scene, you know, and like whatever, like there's some scenes that maybe they could have cut ten minutes of it. But overall, it's like us against the system. That defines – everyone kind of respects each other. And they wouldn't have known each other without that scenario. They gain a little bit of uh, clarity on that. It's uh, it's also kind of in a weird way. Like it's almost like the real world. You know, they just put like, you know, yeah, <laughs> seven strangers really yeah. in, a, in a detention hall. And um, Emilio Estevez, and like the the principal is like an all time villain character. Yeah, like he's great. Dickhead. Yeah, so mess with the bulls, get the horns. Like the, like it's quotable. It's to me, it's like a it's like a it's a great. You movie. know where there it was filmed? I think it here, right? Maine North Maine High North, School. Yep. Yeah, I I want I was gonna say Glenbrook North because I thought it was the same as another movie that will probably get drafted, but it's not. Uh, Maine North High School. I believe that is where Hillary Clinton went. Correct. You could be right about that. I'd too. Maybe Maine West. It was one of the mains, She's I know. From, yeah. Main South. She went to Maine South. Did she go to Maine South? And then she transferred to one of the other main, I believe. Um, no, nah, I mean, it's worthy of a first round, I think. Right, Carl? Yeah. Yeah, it's Breakfast Club. I think it'd be more second, third round. Yeah, Molly I, Ringwald I mean, in it. I mean, that's a yeah. the, dead giveaway. I don't, I don't think it's even close to as good. It's got the nostalgia factors because it's oldest by far of everything that we've already drafted but I but it also someone is. misappropriated a breakfast club quote on redline radio i think or maybe it was on the rundown when were you talking about elephants yesterday 
Was that? Yeah, it was Someone yesterday. said if you yeah. mess with the elephant, you get the horns. It's actually if you well, mess with the ball. Isn't that well, from I did Breakfast that, Club? Yeah, I did that on purpose, though. I know. Yeah. I'm saying, like, yeah. now here we are yeah. back talking Breakfast Club. Yeah. That was just yeah. yesterday. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, yeah. like, what, what are my favorite quotes? Or, like, when I think Breakfast Club, what jumps out to me? Right. And that's probably the first thing is him being like, you mess with the ball, you get the horns. Yeah. And that's a great relate When you're in high school and stuff, and you're like, oh, that fucking you know, Mr. So-and-so or coach or whatever, who's got it out for us. And mm -hmm. he's like a hard ass disciplinarian. Like that was obviously, did you guys have to deal with hard ass disciplinarians? Fuck. Yeah. You know who my disciplinarian did, did you? was? Oh yeah. Hard I don't ass wanna... discipline. Oh, yeah, I think, I, I think everyone probably here has, right? I got lucky. You know who mine was? Shout out Kish. Kish. <laughs> oh, we met Dave's coach. <laughs> yeah. He was my Dean too. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's usually uh, somehow that usually overlaps sports and whatever. Disciplinary, you mean like it's a, a thousand yard chief? It's a good pick, thousand yard runner without it, oh, like, no yeah. question. You know what you're getting with that. Yep. Our D was a football coach. He just, yeah, we know, had good deans too, but there were like, you know, by. the assistant football coach who'd be teaching yeah, yeah, sophomore yeah. theology, walking the halls, being like, button it, top button. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, it wasn't too bad. It's pretty lax by me. Uh, but I also antiquated to being, uh, or I equate it to being a good pick because if you say teen movie, a lot of people, this would be the first one they think of too, in my opinion. Yeah. But like Dave, I agree, it may not be the best actual movie. I mean, uh, I don't I ever. Think it's right there. I mean, it, you know. Like if it's, all right. Another the, movie with a great soundtrack too. It like does got a good soundtrack, scene. yeah. Yeah. Great end scene. Um, Breakfast Club off the board. Carl. You're up. I'm going to go with – if Chief took – okay, so I have two picks here. So I think they're both first-rounders. I think these could both – I think you can make an argument these could both be first overall. Um, I'm just thinking about which one I want to talk about first. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about Ferris Bueller. I'm taking Ferris Bueller's day off. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously classic to Chicago. Great soundtrack. Great premise. Twist I was between shout. those two. Yeah. yeah. You want to hear a fun fact, Chief? Sure. And Twist and Shout, um, when they were singing, what's this? Why am I blanking on his name? I'm blanking. I got Bad Brain Day. Matthew Broderick. Matthew no, Broderick. Well, Matthew Broderick. Ferris. That's not, not Ferris. The Beatles. John Lennon? What Paul, McCartney. Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney. McCartney. Okay. When he's singing, he was so sick that day. That's why his voice sounds like, raspy. Twist and Shout. And they liked it, so they just kept it. Hmm. That is, is a that, fun fact. Mm -hmm. Is that on the documentary? I haven't watched it I haven't yet. watched it I'm going to start either. soon, though. Well, it looks good. Have you? I haven't seen no. it. I've heard good things. But, yeah, that I mean, I I don't like it as much as some of the other picks so far, but if you draft that number one, it, it people would be like, yeah, that's a number one pick. You need a classic on the list. This is obviously a classic. Um, I love the fact that he breaks the camera wall, too. I think that's yeah, yeah. It's like an extra character. Yep. And we talked parents before. His mom and dad are just hilarious the way he, like, gets in and out of shit. And, doesn't, mm -hmm. you know, like, they just and take the sister, everything he says. Yeah. They're like, oh, honey. And, you know, yeah, like the jealous sister. The Ben Stein also. Amazing. Oh, yeah. he's, the, he's the teacher. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he launched a whole career off of one line. Like, he had that show on Comedy Central. That he had a game. I think he hosted a game show at one point. Bueller. Dude, he ben Stein's yeah. money. Bueller. Yeah. Did you watch that, Rico? My dad was big on win Ben Stein's money. You know who? Yep. See if you can remember this. Do you know who the side guy was for that show? Like, kind of the host? No. Does anyone know? Adam Carr. No. Jimmy no. Kimmel. Hmm. Yeah, I remember that. It's going to blow your mind. Yeah, Jimmy Kimmel. Crazy. The, um, what was I about to say? Don't know. Ferris oh, Bueller. the only thing that bugged me about the movie is how Cameron wore the wings jersey instead of like something super Chicago. But then his character is like, yeah, I'm not in on the Chicago stuff. I'm in on the Red Wings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, like no, it's yeah. unbelievable, especially a kid growing up here. Like, you just watch that, you see like the Wrigley Field yeah, scene. You see, yeah. yeah, like, like you, you couldn't see. give that guy a Bobby Hole jersey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, but he, it's yeah. just so many things about that were, I mean, it's iconic. That's yeah. probably Chicago's most recognizable movie, right? It's up there. It's a, the top, fugitive. Top, I mean, that's not giving away a pick. Yeah, certainly yeah. up there. Home Alone. Hard, yeah. Matthew Home Crowder, Alone. unbelievable performance. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. So. Um, great pick. I think same as Breakfast Club. Like, it deserves to be there first I rounds. think that should that should have gone over Breakfast Club 100%. Um, but to right. be sure, you know. you're up. You're up again, Carl. You could, I think you could get a good two, good one, too. I have, a, I have a two here pick that I am so excited to make, guys. And I've. I've drafted this movie, I think, a couple times before in different contexts. Soundtrack for sure. Dazed and Confused. I'm in trouble from here on out, though, because I think you guys are going to make a big run. But 
That was my next pick. I just it's it's so much different, and I would say it's so much better. It's just a fucking classic. Mm -hmm. Maybe an hour and twenty five minutes, quick in and out, and it's just fucking perfect. Heavy heavy cast, and their plot really isn't anything other than just like hanging out in high school and like the kind of shit you you get into. Do you know what the plot is? The plot is like it's it's our time. You can't hear me. No, I can't. I can't. I think my volume just went down. But it's all good. The the plot is. You finally arrived. It's the last day of junior year, and we're watching them be like, hey, it's our time now. Like, now, you know, and like, you're right, the plot, like, there's so much, like, stress of them just being like, we got to do something. Like, they're flipping out that there's no party. The guys, the kids' party gets canceled. They're just drinking in the woods. Like, why is McConaughey there? He's 50 years old. <laughs> it's just like, the, 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 you're right, it's about nothing, but it's about everything of that time. I say it all the time. Like, I, feel, I really do feel for the kids at COVID, the kids who were June, like that spring of their junior year, and then lost their whole senior year. Because there's nothing better than, like, having a license, knowing, hey, you're going into, like, a cakewalk senior year. Everybody's got a car. The world's so much smaller. You could do whatever you want. Like, yeah, Days and Confused, the first time I ever saw it, well, I didn't see it, but my cousin came over, was babysitting, had, like, the VHS, and then years later I popped it in, and I was like, wow, this was great. All-star cast, music, like, funny shit. Involves everybody. There's a lot of storylines. I thought it was great. It's, it's a great pick. I was hoping it fell a little bit further, but... Great pick. Thank you. All-time relatable movie, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think there's a lot of stretches where you could argue some of these other ones are going to be like, oh, that's hijinks. That's crazy. That's wild. Sure, there's some wild stuff that's going on, but I don't think anything that's going on in Dazed and Confused is like too over the top. Maybe then other than when they throw the paint on Matthew McConaughey. But even then, like, that's as zany as it fucking gets. My point is, it's like an ultra-relatable teenage movie where I think anybody watching it, even though it takes place in the 70s, even though it was filmed in the 90s, to even today, all the shit they're talking about, Rico hits it on that. It's very fucking relatable. Love mm-hmm. it. They throw the paint on uh, Ben Affleck. And ben yeah. Affleck. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Plays and then, like, the, the last one, too, like the freshman kid, like, that's his first taste into it. Yep. Uh, he, he sucks, though. The actor or the kid? The kid playing the movie. Like, yeah. I'm going to What lose TV my show was he? He always touches movie. his hair. Yeah, he's just constantly touching his hair. It drives Which me nuts. Which one is it? The, kid the main with the character. super long hair. Yeah, the kid with the long hair. This is one of the first ones. I'll hand up. I haven't seen it in its entirety. It's I, okay. I know it's really bad. Uh, of me, Everybody's got I've never those seen movies. it. Yeah, but that's one of mine. Uh, are you talking about the guy from Road Trip? The guy uh, from Rent? I don't know. Because I know else? he's no, in that's that. Anthony Michael Hall. Yes. I'm yeah. talking he, about the kid, the, the, the kid Mitch. Yeah, yeah, Mitch. 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 Yeah, he, he looks sucks. like he he's could fixing his be. hair the whole time. It drives me he's crazy. He's got the hot older sister. He's yeah. always touching yes. his face. Yeah. He, yeah, he's, he's touching a, his face and like he's yeah. super like yeah, he uncomfortable. But whatever. Great yeah. great story regardless. Yeah. If you hate him, doesn't that make him great then? And the yes. fact that he's uncomfortable is just like yeah, he wasn't. That, he does. At it that it point defines too. high school. You're yeah. supposed to have guys like yeah. that. My yeah. favorite scene in the movie is when they're playing the baseball game and they're in the yeah. <laughs> they come down with the paddles and they're like hanging out in the stands. And they just know it. They're in the dugout and they're talking they're like, to each oh, other. It's like, what are we going to do? It's like, we are so <laughs> fucked. And they just yeah. accept their fate. I was talking about Anthony Rapp. Sorry. Okay. Um, I saw oh, him on the train Anthony one Michael time. Oh, not Anthony Michael Hall. Anthony Rapp. Yeah. When I was in grammar school, I was like, a, you know, we were taking the train to like the taste or something. <laughs> and uh, he's like super famous for like Rent, I guess. Yes. I, have you seen Rent? I've never I, seen I Rent. Lo- I, I love Rent. Song. I love Rent. When I met Anthony Rapp, I said I'm a big f- All right. I'm going to do this story real quick. I met the guy. I said, hey, long story short, I had to walk him somewhere. I worked somewhere where I was doing an event, whatever, right? I got to walk him. I said, hey, man, I'm a huge fan of Rent. I thought you were unbelievable. But I got to tell you, I also loved you in uh, Malibu's Most Wanted. And he just goes like this. Oh, I'm sorry. I said I said Dazed and Confused. I love you in Dazed and Confused. And he goes, thanks. Because I also said it to Tay Diggs who was in Rent. I walked him later and said, I loved you in Malibu's Most Wanted. He, him and his manager start cracking up. And uh, Anthony Rapp wanted no part of it. He was like, dazed and confused, like, thanks. He hated that's really, it. He, that's really funny because I have like the exact same story, except I told him I loved him in a road trip on the train. <laughs> and he was reading a book and he was like, yeah, I was in a road trip. And he was like so like thrown yeah, off. Yeah, he hates it. Was, it. Yeah. It's like, buddy, you cashed the check, man. Don't blame me. <laughs> He didn't give me quite that same reaction. He was nice about it to me. Yeah, he did, I guess he, he didn't like me. Maybe you met him first, 
And then and you, then you, yeah, you soured on up. yeah yeah <laughs> he he didn't play the coolest character <laughs> in Dazed and weird... Confused though and I would imagine at that time period too like you get done film that movie it gets released like those next couple of years people see you just like they they know yeah. all they know is you're the nerd yeah, from yeah, Dazed yeah. and Confused so for sure maybe some baggage maybe yeah but he was yeah but it was just like yeah, he's, I mean, he's probably, probably never yeah. been recognized on the train as Eddie the, we might have hit something there too like possible topics Broadway musicals I'm in just down the road. <laughs> If you get I'd if be, you get desperate, I'm in. I'd be toast. I've never been to one. I want to see. Uh, it might just the, be you and Carl on that one. I'll do it. <laughs> South Park one. Book uh, of Mormon. I heard it's like his pants funny. Um, okay, days confused off the board, Chief. It's back to you. I think I'll get pushed back on this one, but it is my. Uh, I don't know what you're laughing at already. <laughs> I I mean, uh, I'm taking. Practice. I'm taking Friday Night Lights. It's like my absolute favorite. I think sports movies between that and Miracle. That whole thing of like. You know your last game like i happened to see it like right like maybe four days it was over like thanksgiving break four days after my last football game so it was like it hit extra hard the first time i saw it in the theater that you know they'll go into the high school parties as like the varsity team the, you know the, the whole thing the whole thing is just like everybody who's played their last game doesn't matter what the sport is can relate to that final scene the finale of it like you're never putting on a football helmet again and uh, I love that movie, so I'm, I'm, I'm. He throws the ball to the like eight year olds because yeah, like he knows yeah. the next. That was stuff. a little heavy handed, I would say, with like the symbolism. Like, yeah, didn't, didn't really need that. No, but like, I it's think the most quotable. Uh, when I first saw it, correct me if I'm wrong. Sorry to cut you off. I mm -hmm. don't think he's passing the torch. That's the first time in the movie he smiles. If you notice, they make a conscious effort in the movie to say, "Mike, don't you smile? Don't you ever smile?" The girl's like yeah. about to fool around with him. He won't smile. It's over. Yeah. Like one way or the other, like yeah, they failed, but he's like, you know what? I'm fucking done with this. I yeah. think that's the there's correct some, me. I, I think love there's it. something to that for sure. You and made yeah. a face though. I I mean it's, it, I'm not gonna veto it, but why? How would how would that be vetoed? It's a hundred percent a teen movie. I don't know that it is. How is that I mean, coming I mean, of age it's, anymore? It's a it, high school it is. football. I know, I know, I know, I know. But it's a it's a, I would like I'd categorize a sports movie before a teen movie. No, I'm actually can't. alarmed that Chief thought that gonna, we'd no, have a problem with it. That's right. like an all-time team yeah. movie to me. I don't well, like that was we a slam dunk. right here. Yeah. I, well, maybe the, maybe when it was picked, but I I, I have there's like in, it, along the lines there's movies that I like that are along the lines of let's say Ten Things I Hate About You and Super Bad American Pie. This to me is the number one teen sports movie where I felt right. like that next category of like the maybe. I don't know if you'd call it like a team rom-com coming of age thing. I have other ones that I like there for later. Um, so I just, I had to have Friday Night Lights. And I, no, I, it I, is one of my absolute favorite movies. Yeah, it's I defined it very yeah. loosely. If the main characters are between 13 and 18, it's a teen movie is, is how I define it. Mm -hmm. So I have one on my list that I think it, well, we'll talk about it in the app if yeah. it gets picked. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. but yeah, Back to me. I, great pick. Yeah, it's back to you. Yeah, well, Mike. I think. Hold on, hold on, real. I think it's. Oh, go ahead. I think Friday Night Lights is it's one. It's a it's a teen movie, and it's like a high school thing that none of us here had like experienced. To There's that degree, something that yeah. the five of us are definitely fascinated by, because I was always been like, wow, like Texas, they just sit there in front of the Seven Eleven and drink milk, and like the cops roll up and they're like. You're gonna win this weekend. You're like yeah. just something about that. Like the whole town's it's, at the game. Yeah, something uh, about that has always just been like, wow. That's like, kind of how it was for us. Like the entire cities went to. We no said, way, Dave. We Not would like have that. we would have like fifteen thousand people. They weren't at, talking about you on the radio and like putting for sale sign. If you went, in the if you drove yard through Warrenville or Wheaton and they were in the state championship game, every single restaurant, yep. car, yes, everything. This is every was, single week. This was cow. Like, no, I know. But like, it is like the biggest thing in like there's that old quote from Roy Williams, the uh, the wide receiver. And he he got to Texas and, you know, and they're getting ready to play A&M and they're both, you know, top 10 teams. And he and they're, they're like, you nervous like this has to be the biggest game of your life. And he goes, oh, no, no, no. I played Permian versus Midland Lee. That was a lot bit more oh, yeah. than this. So. <laughs> wow. So that was that was Roy Williams. So. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I think, yeah, I, I'm with you, on, Ed, on that. Like, we had, like, we when my prep school was in, like, a remote area of Massachusetts, and we would have, like, a, we would pack in, like, 3,000 people for in, like, a tiny little old 100-year-old rink where, like, the town's people came because the, the campus was small. So, like, maybe 5% of the crowd was actually, like, with the student, like, with involved with the school, and everybody else came from, like, the surrounding area. 
but it was not like not like this not man. like where they're like talking on the radio like you know it's same thing as all local sports you get a blurb in the paper but it's not like the coverage and the intensity and you know like i'm gonna get a job in alaska because texas is too hot you know like yeah like these coaches are yeah. legitimately like like <laughs> college coaches man so. big time yeah um it's a good pick i love the music that they play while they're playing the football games they slow it down it's that soft like it's, i, I it's don't even know ex- how to explain explosions it explosions in the sky is the okay. soundtrack and, and it's it, it is just so like a class. slow yes. it's like yeah yeah but it's just it is like uh it's, it's like meditating music of sorts and yet it fires you yeah. up at the same yeah, time i want to run yeah. through a brick wall yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, only complain about it only complain they had at they really real got turf. sucked no they really got sucked into like the big hit tackle all tackles are big hits. It, Almost every tackle in that movie is that like a, 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 a like so that that's jack, jack that's, him up. Hit. That's my complaint about almost every sport uh, sports movie. The sports yeah. are actually filmed very poorly most of the time. I, like the replacements, I, I not th- authentic enough. For I me. I think that Friday Night Lights does a better job. Yeah, I think so. Of like the actual football scenes than a, like maybe any other sports movie. Uh, money ball they use money uh, actual minor leaguers for it. Hockey, they did the same for a miracle. Yeah, for miracle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Except uh, for the goalie. No, good pick. Uh, and he was the one that looked uh, like he was acting. Jim Craig. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. looked like he was being an act, actor yeah. or acting, playing goalie. Um, Rico, you are up. Yeah. So this was the one that uh, I would have taken first round because I love it. I had first saw this movie uh, with my older cousins, like in the summer. Was fascinated by it. <laughs> And then watched it every night before eighth grade graduation parties, like uh, like to I don't know pump myself up like a fucking wacko. Talk about all star cast. I love that it takes place in one night. Can't hardly wait. Holds the test oh, of time. Oh fuck! See, this is I the one I, I knew talking. you. Were I, thought I thought that. I thought that was gonna get back to me. I was. I was. Oh, you guys pump. are. Cra- you guys are disrespecting one of the best around. I no, haven't oh, seen see, it. She's see, that's so just, hot. Man. I, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh, it's, it's, it's one of the hottest of appearances in any movie of all time. Jennifer uh, Love I knew how much Rico Fuck. loved it, so that's why I knew it would never last. Yeah, that's right. why. So when I it's said, another. It's another one like the Breakfast Club with like the, you know, Seth uh, Seth Green and and the yeah. envi- like the weird goth girl end up together and Mike Dexter gets saved by the nerds and like yeah. it's a whole. It, it very much is the Breakfast Club modern day, but it's not without the cliches. And I'm a hopeless romantic. The fucking scene at the end, yeah. obviously with Amanda and uh, and Preston, how he finds the letter and that song. I saw that one time at a wedding. I think it's called. Uh, damn, what the? F- ah, whatever. I'm gonna forget the song. <laughs> yeah. but whatever's playing in the train station <laughs> was somebody's wedding song, and I was like, God damn it, that's a great wedding song. Yeah. Was it Barry Manilow? No. No, that um, was the parking lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I'll, I'll find. So it. I'll definitely would, find it. Because I was between that and Friday Night Lights. Oh, you fucked up. Would Friday Night Lights have gotten back to me? In the yeah, because that's what, I didn't that's have what it on my list. It would have gotten back to you for me too. Fuck. See, because that's and that's just one thing where I just know Rico because yeah. we've bonded over this movie many I times. I love that movie. I've written blogs on it. I know Rico has, and I I love the guy. I did like a series that like putting in like the the supporting character Hall of Fame, and I put the guy who steals shit. I love that guy. Every season, Shermanator. like five scenes. The Shermanator. Yes, the Shermanator, yeah. yes. He's stealing like gumball machines. I DM'd Shermanator, side note, like six months ago to come on the show. He didn't answer. Still waiting on you, Sherman. Yeah, <laughs> disappointing. The Shermanator is a fucking D-list actor who we, I, like, but I don't hey, know his real name. Dave, Dave, we don't want to disparage yeah, you. I'm, I'm the request I, to get back but to him right now. That he can get back to us. I, I, was, I really want the Shermanator. That would be incredible. Please, do you know where you he like, lives? get Jen and shit out Do you know him? where he lives now? Is he still uh, Kelly, you don't want to meet your heroes. Yeah, you don't want true. Shermanator to come in here and not be the Shermanator. True. I, I won't want him to be in character the entire time. Like, <laughs> like if he came in here and he was like uh, Star Wars puns, like the rap guy, and he was like, "Yeah, whatever." I was in the movie. What do you want to know about it? Yeah. You. Would All be right. Crushed. I'm mixing. I'm mixing up. They did not use the name of that song. Is when will I see you again? Okay, that was not his wedding song. It was in another movie, which I can't give away just yet. Um. That wedding song. So okay, got it. Trip McNeely. Trip McNeely. I used. I have in my phone for years. I had my cousin, my older cousin, saved as Trip McNeely for whatever. He's just older. He was cooler. He wasn't a loser. I promise. But I. I was just. That's. A, it's an all-time movie for me. 
Mike Dexter, Mike Dexter, like, is the loser boyfriend. Yeah, I mean, even within my family, like, the one, the few that got away, my dad would be like, oh, you, you trying to get with it? Like, how's this one going? Like, you, you know, take her out on a date? I'm like, nah, she's still with Mike Dexter. Mike Dexter was not the kid's name. That was just, like, <laughs> <laughs> they, they were just the with Mike dude. Dexter. Yeah. This sucks. And I, yeah, that and was I fucked up. That was a messed up. Yeah. I wanted it bad, too. So, I, yeah. Um, but so I knew it no, wasn't going to get back to me. Yeah. Okay. Um, I love Can't Hardly Wait. It's, a, it's an all time. It's unbelievable. It, yeah. I got to watch it. Never seen you it. you never seen it? Dave. Oh, you'd love it. it too. Dave. I'm sure I would. You would love she, it. Jennifer, cheesy teen movie. Jennifer Love Hewitt. She, I mean, she's is. like the hottest girl ever. Yeah. That's, I would say that's her second hottest movie. There's okay. something about it too where like it never got to the American Pie level. Yeah. So it's kind of like this thing where it's like, oh, you like it, you love it, you know it. it but it didn't, yeah, it didn't turn it. into yeah. this like huge yeah. sensational that, thing. That was like, I definitely remember like renting that at Blockbuster. <laughs> yeah. Like that's, that movie is, that's a great, great movie. Fuck, I wanted that one. And it was a huge party without being overly unrealistic, like bringing in some band in the backyard or like mm -hmm. there wasn't like a fucking explicit. It really was. I mean, it's not like everybody. Or every house party or something. They did but have like, a band in that. They, that was band? like one of the storylines. Like they broke up. Oh, I'm Dude, thinking Love of like Burger. I was, yeah, I'm thinking yeah. of like Mitchell Palooza though, yeah. where they've got like yeah, the sure, green. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's an all-time T-shirt. Love Burger. Up. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many funny parts of that movie. I gotta watch it again soon. I love it so much. Um, all right, it's back to me. I'm between a couple here, uh, but I'm gonna take a classic. I'm actually surprised it lasted this long. I'm going to take Fast Times at Ridgemont the High. The Ed. Okay, out of all the 80s ones, this one is by far and away the best, and I won't hear otherwise. That's because you – That's because of what, Carl? You like that scene a lot. What scene? You know where she's getting in the pool. <laughs> oh, I'll, 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 I'll get, <laughs> but that, that was <laughs> BBK. So, I mean uh, – But that's yeah. like a really – That's up there with one of the more graphic scenes it's in movies on one of the best list. tit yeah. scenes of all time. Yeah, that in American Pie. That American Pie, yeah, for, for sure. Pick. But I was, I was, wasn't even going there. I just think Jeff Spicoli is one of the he's great a, characters he's a, he's a great of character. all time. See, here's my take on that. You Spicol like Demona? Yes, Spicoli like gets Demona? way too. Yes, Spicoli Eddie, gets way Eddie, too much I love. Demona is the, the most unlikable guy in. Rico, he's selling tickets on the fucking low at the mall. Like, that guy, he's running numbers. Like, that's like just like a little <laughs> slimy guy. I love He's a high schooler. That guy, Damone, was great. How can you not like Damone? I mean, ditching for the abortion is a little problematic. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Sure. Sure. That was problematic. But I'm saying, well, the reasons why Spicoli, we didn't know Spicoli's deep life, okay? Maybe there was no. some demon in his past, too. We knew more about He just about liked to moment. smoke weed and eat munchies. What, what's well, wrong with Spicoli? There was no demons in his past. And then him and Mr. Hand made up, and he learned, like, the Declaration of Independence and stuff. We don't know that, though. Yes, we, we do. They they shook hands, and they said aloha to each other. But we don't, we don't know his relationship was, situation. We do. He was just a little pothead that just minded his own business and dropped funny one-liners and another, stole cars. Another great appearance from a Santa <laughs> Claus character, Judge Reinhold. Oh, he's yeah. great. He was in Seinfeld, yeah. too, a little bit. Um, um, star started cast, Nick Cage, Lawrence Fishburne. Um, big Nick, time. Big yeah. time. Yeah. Wait, what's Lawrence Fishburne in it? He is the football player with the Letterman jacket. That's not Lawrence Fishburne. I'm pretty sure it is. It's not Lawrence Fishburne. No. it's. Uh, I would know his name as soon as I heard it. Yeah, it's, it's Forrest Whitaker. From Forrest, Forrest Whitaker. Whitaker. Yes, Forrest Common Whitaker. mistake. Common yeah. mistake. Um, that's Old an all-time time scene, though. He's like, well, is he going to is he gonna shit or is he going to kill us? And then they just <laughs> frame it as the yeah. other, the the rival high school, and then he just goes ham into eight sacks and just kills people. Yeah. All-time, all-time all -time, all -time movie. All-time line when he gets... <laughs> <laughs> he gets in trouble at the behind the counter, and the kid who's you. supposed to cover him, he goes, I hope you had a hell of a piss, Arnold. That's just fucking great uh, and I just love that they just repeat, uh, she's got to be somebody's baby. Like, they play oh, the it whole like song. a million times throughout the movie, and it's just like, I don't know. It's just love Jackson Brown. Yeah, Jackson Brown. Dun, Jackson Brown's dun, great. Dun, 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 and it dun, works. Got to be somebody's baby. It's, it just works somehow. Because I'm on tonight. What a, it's just such a fucking perfect team. It's movie. awesome. I'm like, surprised. If you would have drafted this number one, I would have said, yeah. I'm surprised it slipped, but there's a lot of picks, I know. I, there's a lot like, of picks. I have. I got <laughs> you feel like it's like you're like guilty you took it here. You I know, but bad. do you agree, though? Or you just got a surprise it's fell to nine yeah, I mean, I feel good about my two. I mean, it's a, it's, it is it's is a loaded draft, I feel yeah, like. I feel I, like, I, I mean, yeah, I feel like you, you can make an argument for Breakfast Club, Ferris Bueller, Days and Confused. Yes. Times. Like, all those to me are like very interchangeable. Uh huh. Okay. 
Uh, Fast Times, Ridgemont High. Happy to have it. White Sox day. I got two fucking just heaters coming up, in my opinion. <laughs> just heaters. We'll give us first. We'll so talk I, I would have taken Fast Times next. Um, I was down to three, and I, if I automatically got any two of those combos, which I'm going to, then I'm happy with it. I'm going next. I'm going with The Girl Next Door. Mm. One great of my pick. all-time great favorite pick. teen movies. Unbelievable soundtrack. Great cast. Emile Hirsch, she's... You know, really, really fucking famous. Uh, well, fuck. Alicia Cuthbert, absolute Sit smoke show. List. Yeah, the little camera guy. Uh, he's hilarious Clitz? in it. No, not no, Clitz. The, the, the camera guy. guy, the producer yeah. dude. Good soundtrack. It discovers it. Great soundtrack. It's, it's and I like. There's another one. We just talked about Sound Red Line. Too. Yeah, we Timothy talked about Oliphant. Yeah, yeah Timothy awesome Oliphant. Awesome villain. Yeah, awesome, awesome villain. villain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we talked to Emil Hirsch. Yeah, it's, this is coming together here, guys. Really this is. is really weird stuff. Uh, Rico, you got a take on that? Have you seen I it? I do, so I'm trying to get the song up as I screwed it up. There's a there's an awesome song, obviously, in the limo with them. Beautiful song, which I had never heard before. But to clarify that that guy's wedding, I just text him. It was Only You by Yaz, which is at the end of Can't Hardly Wait. Uh, I saw this movie going up to football camp, Girl Next Door, when I was in high school. Awesome movie. I forget the guy's name, but the fucking, the like, basically like the, what I want to call him, the director or the pimp, kind of. Like, that guy is an all-time villain, too. When he tricks him the bunch of different yeah. ways, make him take the drugs. It's a, gr- it's a good, it's a great movie. Yeah. They end the movie. Okay, so I, I know what song you're talking about. I was just looking it up, but they end the movie playing Bob O'Reilly by the Who, and it's just a I know, perfect yeah, fucking it's, song it's, to it's end when they're going at It's when they're going at it in the limo. It's a good song, soft song. It's a uh, f- I I'm, I'm don't go crazy. I'm just giving footnotes. Because it's, it's gonna bug me. It's gonna bug me. And, it, and this just kind of comes full circle too, where what I mean by with your super bad pick of how, like I just think that's a great movie in general. Many people would say this is a bad movie, but for a teen how? genre, it's good. How? It's I mean, a it's, fucking good movie for our generation. Like we, of course, we yes. loved it because we it, watched you know it when I mean? we were 15 years old. It bo- I still love it. It bothers me that they don't make movies like this. Yes, I know it sucks. It sucks. You can't. Jeff Delos talked about that, and, or I shouldn't say, but and so is Ken Jack on Lights Camera Barcelona about how the market for like the mid budget just like yeah good they don't make the gone. 20 million dollar comedies anymore. Mm-hmm. They don't do that. Uh, like Jeff gave it a 55 out of 100. Ken Jack gave it a 42 out of 100. That's bullshit. And the audience gave it 48 out of 100. So you know How? what I mean. But I feel like that, th- like the Rotten Tomatoes for all these types of movies, like they never do well. Yeah, like, like I, I remember Dumb and Dumber got like fucking. It was yeah, like, like super low. Like, like not 40s. everything yes. has to be like agreed. The Godfather. It's a great know? teen it's, movie though, right. within the genre. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Am I thoroughly entertained the entire time? That's kind of like my. Like how I judge movies. Alicia Cuthbert, I would have thought she would have gotten a lot bigger too. Like that she, was like such when a she was on twenty four, she was like turning into monster celebrity status, yeah. and she kind of just never got there. Yeah, she, she did marry Dion Phaneuf, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hockey, right? Yeah, she dated Sean Avery, and then that married, was a whole situation. married Dion Phaneuf, yeah, okay. and then Sean Avery yelled at Dion Phaneuf on the ice about okay Cuthbert sloppy seconds, sloppy, that's, sloppy that's seconds. Yeah. Um. That yes. guy is a big time <laughs> asshole. Okay, uh, you are up again, White Sox Dave. I'm going with one of my other all time favorite movies. Don't take it. I'm taking it, Ed. I'm going with Mean Girls. Oh, oh. Mean Girls. Well, is now I know I'm fucked for for sure because I know where you're going. Now. An amazing movie in every single way. Um, this, it, I, I mean, really it, it took up. place in Evanston and. I mean, I had the most prototypical suburban lifestyle as you can possibly have. It was my high school to a fucking T. To a T with the clicks. You know, they had the gots at one table. You had jocks at the other. It was to a T. Obviously embellished for cinematic effect, but it was, I think it's hilarious. My favorite character in the, in the movie was uh, her, the girl with the purple hair, her gay friend. That guy's unbelievably funny. Unbelievably funny the whole movie. I, it's got great lines. Tina Fey, I love her. Tina Fey is like a genius. She's great, just great, and I, I'm very happy with that in the third round. Main Girls is great. I was hoping to get it in the fourth. Um, I'm happy you didn't take what I was going to take, but that's I don't have any knocks on Main Girls. Like yeah, people are going to say, great. like there could be an argument there that people would be like, oh, you're pandering, you're looking for the girl vault, but no, fuck that. Everybody on earth loves me. I agree. Yeah, it's another I one agree. that like you could be 50 and love it, and you could be 10 and love it. You know. 
Doesn't matter. Nobody's talking Tim Meadows. Right? Dude, every Tim second, Meadows. every second great. he's on the screen, he's like laugh out loud funny. When he comes out with the baseball bat and he's like, I did not leave the South Side for this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> His name is Damien. Yeah. Yeah, it's in Evans. Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah. it's kind of funny. <laughs> it's so like, funny. The idea of him like being like, yeah, yeah. I left Simeon to come up here. Yeah, like, I'm not exactly. dealing with this bullshit. Yeah. I'll tell you what, that, that crew of girls, right? Mm-hmm. So I don't want to make sure I don't shortchange anybody. Uh, it's Lindsay Lohan. This it's year's Rachel. love, David Gray. That's the song you were thinking. This year's about. love. Thank you very yeah. much. The, uh, Lindsay Lohan, Rachel McAdams, Lacey Amanda Shea-Bear. Siegfried, yep. and who's the other girl? Lacey Shea Bear. Lacey Shea Bear. She played um, what's her face on on Family Guy. They go to they go to any they could go toe to toe with that crew before her. That crew could go toe to toe. With any show house I've ever seen down in Belmar, as far as like <laughs> like w- like head turners, that's all I'm gonna yeah. say. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that Those was four. That's a that's that's that. the Grom Harvey Syndergaard. <laughs> like that's but but if they achieved, that's all I'm gonna say. Harvey. That is well, a so star nice Harvey rotation. I love well, I mean, you could say that Lohan w- really was Matt Harvey because after that, no, like that I, was honestly, her, that, yeah, 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 it was a short lived. Time on top, but she that was peak, peak, peak low. Yeah, that's a, she, that's a hell of a crew. That's a I hell think of a at crew. that time yeah, it was say Fried Stephen Matz too. You know, I think at that time what was that movie oh four oh five. Yeah, right I man. feel like for oh four. So like I would say that my top two celebrity crushes at that time were Lohan and uh, Jessica Simpsons. Yeah. And like yeah. those, those were like the it girls for me back then. Met McAdams, I would say, was maybe like I got a little bit more mature. And I was, the, and then I was yeah. into Rachel McAdams. She's the yeah. Grom. Lacey, Lacey Shaver would be. Uh, oh, Noah she's Syndergaard. total smoke show. Yeah. I think that's like that's. Great. I don't know length of career. I think you might have to give it to McAdams. To be the Grom. Yeah, because if you think about oh, it, I agree. like yeah, like. Like Harvey was Lohan, you're right. It's a great comparison. I can't believe we're doing this, but uh, and <laughs> Syndergaard was, was uh, Lacey Shea Bear because it's you know like the the star studded of power, like big strong guy. But like mm-hmm. McAdams was maybe the third in the rotation, which what Degrom was. And guess what? Degrom's just still a fucking star. Like Rachel McAdams is. No, that's why. Yeah, yeah great yeah, mechanics. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, just stays within her her character herself. Like Degrom doesn't really try to be anybody's night. He just goes out there and just pumps ninety eight. Like Rachel McAdams is a fucking classic. Yeah. Like she's yeah. no Versatile. gimmick. She's just a fucking great. I think beautiful. when you lose the fastball, she'll still figure out a curve. Like Degrom's mm-hmm. gonna figure out a curve. He's gonna be. <laughs> she could be like a mom. She could. She's got a lot of potential. Oh yeah, yeah. I agree. Great movie. Mm. Um, and it's one of those that you could always watch all the time on TV. I mean, most of these are, anyways. But it just feels like that's on more than more than not. Um, all right, it's back to me. Happy I'd like to offer you a trade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's get it going. <laughs> Why you're that convinced? You know where I'm going. Yeah, go ahead and pick it. And I'm kind of worried because I don't want you to take something I want. But I'm I'm actually gonna in this spot. I'm taking Varsity Blues. Oh, okay. Never yeah, mind. I mean, most predictable pick. I yeah. yeah. Uh, Tweeter, all-time character, mm-hmm. Billy Bob, Mox. Um, what about Bacon? Talk about Bacon, Ed. Bacon, I don't want your life. Uh, yeah. I could go on Dang, and on. I gave it a Dave? damn. It's like I it's mean, Friday Night I, Lights. I, I would love to bang the teacher ass. Well, that and then the, the whipped cream. Oh, team. the whipped cream routine. Yes, yeah, whipped cream. Beca- how did yeah. I not mention that yeah. off the bat? What's her name? Uh, Ellie Larder. Ellie Larder, yeah. 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 Unbelievable movie. Yeah, Unbelievable. It, it, it is. Fantastic. It, yeah. it is a fantastic, fantastic movie. I don't think the uh, football in that movie is that bad either. It's not uh, horrible. It's not. It's not like Waterboy bad. No, no. Just a lot of spread offense. That's your first. That was my first introduction to, to spread long before Oregon had guys running a motion and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm. I'm very happy to get that there. I think it's. I think it's awesome. Now I'm terrified that Chiefs going to take one that I've been saving. So uh, we'll see. I have to. I think it's. It's. The only don't, one in that category left on my list. So. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, uh, Varsity Blues. Rico, you're up. Back to me. All right. I got uh, I got one that I think is fucking great, but I'm wondering if it's going to go so deep if it's even on anybody's radar. I got one like that, too. I hope you're not thinking the same thing. Uh, I'm All right. I'm going to take a... S- I take a safer pick right now. I'm gonna take my running back. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Euro Trip. Man, Ooh. some of those. You don't like that, Eddie? Uh no, it's not that I don't like it. I'm just 
surprised. Is that the one with Mika or whatever? Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. The first time I saw that, I, I like cracked up. Uh, the, this a bunch of different scenes where the guy on the train like da, 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 and then I fucked me eyeballs and you're like the guy's looking at him like what's he talking about the other guy hey man Miami Weiss number one new show like it's <laughs> I don't know it, it was fucking very funny you got Scotty doesn't know in the beginning like what Dam- yep. why is Damon Matt doing Damon, that yeah. performance and then they play it everywhere um the girl from Harriet the Spy like makes a comeback sneakily. <laughs> the guy faking the internship, which it's is not weird, because they not just that I graduated. Don't like it. I want to clarify though, because maybe I'm screwed up, and I'll, I'll give it back. Can we clarify and make sure that there was a high school party, not a college graduation? Uh, it says uh, Malkowitz portrays Scotty Thomas, an American teenager who drives okay, across, who travels right, across Europe. Yeah, yeah, so. it was, yeah. It's a teen movie. Yeah, yeah it's, it's all right, that's movie. all. That's all I need. It's to know. a teen I, movie, but I think they're in college. It's, it's borderline. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. definitely yeah, borderline. Yeah, it'll, it'll but, hurt a little bit, but it's it's very funny. I, I laugh at it a lot, and and uh, it's, first, I think I can't really rewatch comedies a lot. I judge it off of the first watch, and like if you wet your pants laughing, and I did with Euro Trip. I, I, I just thought it was good. I'm gonna take it here, and it's the same thing too. Like, you know, like what's he, he's chasing some girl that's like a smoke because he found out she's a girl across the world, and his friends mm-hmm. go with him. It's very high school stupid, like, you know, whatever. I, I liked it. I thought it was very good. So it's not that I don't like it, Rico. It's just I love road trip so much that when this came out, I was very excited. And I had, like high anticipation, and it has nothing to do with it. So it's not fair to the movie. All but right. for some We're reason, I putting, like. You can't put road trip in the team. No, that's right? that's all college. Got that's it. all yeah. college. That's all right. why I said it. So that's Got why it. I was like, and it, it wasn't as good as road trip. I agree, but I, I get, yeah. In my head, it was like your road trip came after uh, road trip, so that it has to be college kids. But like the definition says, it's a teenager. But it, and it is just it fits like the mold. I yeah. just looked it up too. It's he got dumped uh, immediately after his high school graduation. Oh. So that's a yeah. summer. That's still yeah. a fucking teen summer. Yeah, big time. That's your like your last teen mm-hmm. summer, basically. Um, so I I, I, I I respect the pick. Uh, Chief, you're up. I'm taking She's All That. I don't know if that's uh, the one you were thinking of. I wanted it at yeah. some point. I haven't I, seen it. Yeah. I so it. that to me, like, I really I wanted Can't it. Hardly Wait, but I thought I'd be able to get Mean Girls or She's All That. I wish I had Can't Hardly Wait. I'm not going to lie. Rico, if you want to look at the board, maybe we can work out a trade. Like, <laughs> I love that fucking movie. So I, I thought I'd be able to get it here, but this is a, a consolation prize. Lainey Boggs, all time, like, girl like crush you know high school crush uh type of uh type of girl so she's all that it's like it is like one of the like it had to be drafted you're making a stink face you don't like i haven't seen it oh you haven't haven't seen seen it it? nope i don't believe i have all right i i think it's a great movie one of of my like favorite of that category it's unreal yeah it's awesome i got i gotta watch these two movies because i know i would love can't hardly wait you you would i would love it it's a great movie yeah yeah i can't believe you haven't seen it just one of those movies. I hadn't seen I wish Shrek you could go back like in time and see it though at a like year ago, 13 maybe. like I did. I really yeah. did. It was yeah. yeah. To see, I was a mate. I was like this is fucking an awesome movie and then the romantic ending like it's just fucking great. Yep. It's awesome. Uh I love the pick needless to say. Yep. This wasn't the one We've I was talked about of, that before. Yeah. Oh really? But I wanted it at some point. Okay. Um So you got to be just clicking your heels now. Kind of. Yeah. But there's still a lot to go until it gets back to me. Mm-hmm. Uh have you seen it? Yeah. She's all that? Yeah. No. I haven't. No. Wait. No. Uh, only Chief and I have seen it? No. No, they, at the end they got the... Yeah, no, I haven't seen it. Lanny Boggs. Thinking like, of a different one. Another... Freddie Prince Jr., Paul Walker. Yeah. Uh, it's like all those... Guys, all the people the, from like, that... Teen Hart yeah, 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 yeah. The it's all sexy, those... The hacky so, sexy. I'm thinking yeah. of a Melissa Joan Hart one. No. Um, it's fucking... Know, she's in Can't Hardly Wait, too. Is she? Pretty sure. Yes. Riders in this, too. Yeah. Um, yeah, he is. Yep, <laughs> and th- th- it has, and then um, not Macaulay Culkin, but the one who's on uh, Kieran success- Succession. Yeah, Kieran Culkin. Kieran, Kieran yeah, Culkin's in, in it. it too. He's the little brother. Mm-hmm. Um, she's all that. I love it. Carl, you're up. Couple heavy hitters here, guys. Not a lot left, but this one's like fucking. This one could have gone first overall. It's iconic. This is like introduced the element of. Like Mean Girls doesn't Mean Girls doesn't happen if Clueless doesn't live or mm. whatever the saying is. I'm taking Clueless. Paul Rudd, obviously, we talked about this earlier. Classic appearance. I mean, it's a great. It's a, it's a yeah. It's a big time, big time pick. Brittany Murphy, rest in peace. 
Alicia Silverstone. What was your I, reaction? Haven't seen it? I haven't seen it. Wow. I haven't Which seen the full thing either. Clueless. Clueless. I never saw it. Wow. wow. So I'm just talking into a voice. No, oh, have? yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I've seen it. it. And, and same thing. Big cast. Uh, the, the guy the, the guy who was on Scrubs, um, you know, the black guy from Scrubs, he's in it. Mm -hmm. uh, it. It really does. It has like a big time, big time cast, big time movie. Um, and I'm shocked that you guys haven't seen it. Shocked. Because it is. She's so, Alicia Silverstone is so hot in this movie too. When it came out, she like took over. She did. She I was thought, all over um, everything. Stacey Dash was actually hotter yeah, she's than that. Really yeah. hot. Um, she was in a Kanye but, video. Stacy Dash was pretty sure. Hmm. A lot of plaid skirts in that one. Yeah, I would say that I had had. This might be like the most well known. You can make an argument that this is the most well known of all the movies that have been drafted. Like it's right up there. Like it's wow, it's shocking on, to me man. that it's a great in, third rounder. It's a great third rounder, and you know you got you got the benefit here because three guys haven't seen it. It probably should have gone higher, but it's I, gone I respect higher. the pick a lot. Clueless. Yeah. Well, you got hey, you guys are pretty clueless. <laughs> what do you think? Not bad. Lance liked it. I don't get it. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> um Did you like that one, Lance? I actually haven't seen it, but I know. Never mind. Never mind. You're out, Lance. Right. You're out. In turn, Lance. All right. Fourth round? Yeah. I'm taking maybe the hmm. It's one of the best movies on this list, like best films. I'm taking Cruel Intentions. That's a, I was I was praying to God to cop back to me. It's, it's a, so fucking good. As far as like film work, it's the best movie on this list. Selma Blair, Ryan Phillippe, Sarah Michelle Gellar. Sarah Michelle Gellar. I always can't. That say is that name. so. Here's a Reese little fun Witherspoon. fact. Oh Reese yeah, Witherspoon. I'm like, what am yeah. I doing? The blondes. So that is a movie based off of obviously Romeo and Juliet. Um, other sides of town, blah 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 blah. No, so, it's no, it's based it, on a French novel. It's, that's written no, it's in a, Shakespeare. a series of letters. Dave, it's a Shakespeare movie. I as mean, is whatever. ten things I hate about you. <laughs> like, why do I want to do this? Ten things I hate about you. Also based yeah, on Macbeth. Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I think you're right. It's Macbeth. No, no um, it's Taming of the Shrew. Taming of the Shrew is ten things I hate about you. Yes. Um, and I went to see Sword as a school, just an outstanding of the true, and it sucked. Obviously, it goes against the mold because it's not a comedy like most of these are, but it's just outstanding very much movie. a teen movie. Oh though. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Same thing. I, I was hoping it. it. I I was praying to God it got back to me. It's another one of those like like pre-internet porn movies that you mm -hmm. paid attention to. And the girls are like I don't me. think there's nudity in it. No, there? but there's no, a but really there's heavy make. It won Best that, Kiss for MTV. And yeah, yeah, like a it was a really big yeah, deal for like was, a year. That I follow Sarah and, Michelle Geller on Twitter or on Instagram, and she's as attractive as she, she still brings it. All, just beautiful woman. So just a tip Seems if anybody cool listening this weekend or upcoming weekend, I should say, this movie is flawless if you're like sitting around with a significant other and you're just scrolling. You're like, what should we watch? What, if you pull this one out, I'm, I promise you it'll be like, thanks. So, that, what a good suggestion. I love that one. It, it still fucking plays very mm. much, yes. Sarah Michelle Gellar plays the perfect uppity prep school. Big time. Rich yeah. twat in the movie. She's Cokehead. Oh, yeah. Just evil in the movie. She's, yeah, I Conniving. like that. Well, I mean, it's, it, she that invented movie, the burn book. She invented the burn book. She also probably invented, like, the, uh, like, she was going to bang her stepbrother. Like that's like that. And what did she say? I'll let you put it anywhere. And then he's like, in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. 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 There was that. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, say it, Dave. What? Never mind. Never saw it. Yeah, me too. Oh, you guys should watch it's, it. It's, it's, there's right. not a single funny line drop in the movie. It's like a very serious movie, but it's an outstanding, outstanding movie. All right. Cruel touches off the board, Chief. You're up. I know I'm going to be able to get the pick I want last, and just. I want it's. I'll take American Pie too. Fuck, I'll, that's it. That, that's the one you wanted. That's like my favorite movie ever, and I yeah. just thought no one would take it. Why? You, so I, I don't just know. waited because I thought people would fucking I look at Rico's and be like, oh, like I don't want to. I this, don't want to. This is like it. the. No. Go ahead. Sorry. But I think American Pie Two is better. I think it's better, and it's almost like that Seinfeld thing where it's like the cinnamon babka takes a, a back seat to no babka. Like it, it just because it's not ne necessarily the first one doesn't mean it's like worse. Like it is. It's. If you <sighs> did, it get, I think it got drafted in our sequels draft with Rico yeah. too. It's a, it's a, it's a great movie. So you're getting, I, you're, I, it's a great movie. You're getting a little close with the teen, 
after freshman year. It's, 18, it doesn't matter. 19. I know it's sneaking in. It's sneaking this is, in. This is Euro yeah, trip. Yeah, I mean, technically yeah. they are in college because they come back for that summer to hang out in, in Michigan. Michigan. You That's could still point. be 18, yeah, turning 19. He's right on the fringe. It's a great pick They're teenagers, within the lines. Yeah. yeah. It's They're a good pick school, within the lines. Yeah. Oh, I'm sad. Sorry. You like that was you, I you got past the first layer and yeah. I was like, oh, nice, I'm gonna get yeah. it. Yeah. Like, but I just for some reason I you thought you would. I thought I'd be able to get it because well, don't want to touch it. Yeah, Rico, would you have taken it next? No. It was not on my board because I thought it was too high of the night. Like it was towards the end. It's it's okay. great. it's a good pick. I just okay. didn't. I got like 25 in front of me. I would have taken it. Yeah, deep. I would have taken it. Okay. Yeah. No, I, and like you talk coming of age, like all the boys at the parties with yeah. the solo cups at the end, yep. the ending scene. It's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, great pick, needless to say. Rico. Uh, all right, I'm gonna take one that I went to see this movie way after I was a teenager, and uh, uh, all time soundtrack. I wouldn't say anything made me like audibly laugh out, out loud, like like wet my pants. But I giggled the entire fucking movie. Project X. Mm. <laughs> I did, I mean, you talk about like the all-time party movie. Like, yeah, does it get a little silly and is it crazy? Like, yeah, but I don't know. You got Miles Teller like whacked out of his head, hitting the baseball bat of pills and everything. <laughs> like the girls in the pool and that, you know, the kids like documenting things and the bouncy house. It's just fucking... I don't know. It's like everything you dream of, and I thought it was very, very funny, and I, I cracked up. Like, I, I should say, I giggled the whole time, which meant every part of it was funny. It's kind of a like a – once they get going, like once they see Miles Teller in the supermarket and, and just go, they're off to the races. It's a constant, like, knockout. It, it's very, very funny. Project X. Have you ever seen it? Never seen no? it. No? Oh, my I, God. You never saw Dave? Project X? I haven't seen it. Yeah. Right. I, I – I like Project X. It wasn't on my board, but it was uh, it was such a shit show that it was just an amusing movie. Yeah. All right. I think I'm uh, yeah, I'm starting to take a hit a little bit. But, <laughs> all right. It's this year. Who did you take uh, first round in the um, the Christmas mute the Christmas oh, song? Uh, uh, fucking mistletoe, I think, by Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is this your Full mistletoe tilt, moment? Yeah. No, not yet. I still think I have a strong board. I have three. Yeah. I have. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I had ten in tier one, and I had th I got three of them in my eyes. I think you might have the the, the strongest top two. I would say. In my yeah, I'm, I'm doing pretty well. Project X. Hey, we want some pussy. Uh, All time. I mean, you talk about soundtracks. That fucking yeah. soundtrack. Anytime anybody will write that, like, what's the best movie soundtrack? I say Project X without a doubt. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What year did that come out? Uh, like 11, I want to say. 12, okay. maybe. So well, like give that. it a shot. Um, all right, it's back to me. I, this is this is a tough one. It's, But I got to do it. Uh, it it's kind of borderline, though, but you guys tell me what you think. Uh, I'm going to go heavyweights. No, that's not a fucking teen movie. But, like, but I, I, I know it's borderline, but I at least got to at least put it out there. He gets out of high school like the first day. Like it's literally the last day. The scene starts in the clock. He walks home. He slams a picture. See, Rico said every anything where the like main character is thirteen to eighteen or nineteen. I don't think. But it's teens at summer camp. It's it's not it's not a teen movie. It's got to have teen themes too. I would opinion. say that's more of a kids movie. Than yeah, a teen I don't movie. say that's a teen. That's not a teen but, movie. Hmm. It's a great movie. I, I love, the, love movie. the movie. I think they're more kids. They're not like horny kids. Lunch has been canceled. I know, but they're but due they're to also like. <laughs> but I also think we're discounting like a certain group of like like the fucking like the fat kids. Like that's like they, what they did. They didn't go out getting pussy, going mm -hmm. to park. Can't hardly wait parties. No, yeah. I, I get like that. They no, you're right. I think they're 13, 13, 14. Some of the counselors that help them out are kids who like lost weight and came back. That guy, I I get. I think it's a yeah. It's it's the same way American Pie too. It's on the other end of the spectrum. I, I yeah. give it a pass. It's not what I would fill on my board, but uh, I think it's a teen movie to an extent. It's up to you guys. What do you think? I don't know, man. I like it. Doesn't I'm gonna let you take as I want you to engage with pe people that are following it and see what they say. 
Like I, I think it can go either way, and I'm a coin flip. And because of that, I think Ty goes with the runner. I, I, I'm trying to remember the scene you're talking about. To it's be literally little... the beginning of the movie. Everybody wants to be. Uh, it's uh, closer to me. They play that song, and the, he misses the bus, so he has to walk. And that, that's high school, though. Yeah, a thousand percent. Okay. No, it's junior high. I thought. If you it's, it's junior high, high, then I think I would be out. If it's high school, then I'm in. Let me look it up. I could like, be wrong. I'm thinking of like now. In the meantime, while I look it up, I want to tell you the nice thing about Tony Perkins' father. He owns the biggest lamp distributor in Western Pennsylvania. I think that's just an outstanding backstory for like a really rich, crazy guy. Especially <laughs> having spent some time in Western Pennsylvania recently, and we enjoyed it thoroughly. Yeah, I love Western PA. Anybody? Oh, never mind. It's not. It's definitely not. Then it's got to be junior high. Then I'll take something else. It says he's 11. What? Oh. Yeah, yeah that, it's a right. kid's movie. Even if he was 13, it's still not a teen movie. Uh, all right, so I'll, I'll pivot off that. Uh, I said it might not be good, might not work. Love the movie, though. Yeah, it's good. Um, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a first horror movie, and I'm gonna take I know what you did last summer. Another great Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yeah, Freddie Prinze Jr., Sarah Michelle Gellar. Yep. Um, it's got all the people, Ryan Phillippe. Like, it's got all the oh, teens same. that you yeah. need from all the other shit. And uh, they're still married, which is, like, kind of crazy. Who is? Sarah Michelle Gellar and Freddie Prinze Jr. They are? Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, What's-Her-Face and I did not Ryan Phillippe, they, were, they got together yeah. from Cruel Intentions and, and uh, yeah. Reese Witherspoon and him, they broke up. So mm -hmm. that's crazy. Um. I think that's a good one. Rico, you ever seen that one? Uh, I don't do scary movies. I'm sure it's good. Eddie. I'm with you on that. It's Rico. more of a slasher than a scary movie. Yeah, yeah. Too many nightmares enough already. Like, I, I have nightmares about, you know, Georgia Southern not covering in 2010. <laughs> I don't need to be watching scary movies to only in increase that, all right? All right, fair But enough. it has all those fucking yeah, um, that themes. era. Yeah. The pageant queen. It's yep. got the fucking jock. It's got the kid who got to work hard. It's got everything. Um, White Sox, Dave, you're up. I'm going with what might be the most probably iconic teen movie of all time. Not necessarily my favorite. I love it, but I don't go out of my way to watch it necessarily. I'm going with Grease. How has nobody touched Grease yet? How did you know I was going to do that, Rico? I, well, it was I on my list. My, I prep. I prep. When you said iconic movie, Grease is an iconic teen movie. It was on my list. I, I didn't know. Because it's one of those things where it's like definitely a high school teen it, movie, but like Rizzo's 50 years old. Like she is right. absolutely 50 years old. So like No, I, I get it. I get yeah. it. But like, I mean, I'm trying to put myself in like my mom and dad's shoes. Like I'm sure when they were like growing up. Put that yourself was like in your their, own shoes. Like that movie, like that movie still. It, it's timeless. Yeah, it, yeah. it is timeless. Soundtrack's but like great. that was their movie of their generation. Yeah. Like I would say, I don't know, American Pie. Well, let's, what does the, the biggest Grease guy here have to say? Ed? Yeah, I like Grease a lot, but it's one of those things where I like the soundtrack more than the movie. Yeah. I think so, it's good. I think it's a really good movie. I think it's good, that's, too. That's yeah. one of my go-tos, Ed. You know that. I think in a fourth round right here where stuff's starting to get really thin, I think it's a good pick. That's what I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's my fourth pick. Um, I don't think there's much to say on yeah, that. It's, you, could take a, you could take your fifth rounder. My fifth rounder? Now, this one's on the edge. Now, at the start of the draft, this is the very first... Uh, movie that I wrote down. Then once you guys started talking, I was like, ah, it's kind of borderline. Animal House. College that's co freshman. College. Uh, that's college movie. It's college, college freshman. freshman. All the themes are college. It's like... Uh, I don't know, but I don't... Get, it's, yeah, it's, it's college. I, yeah, that's Pluto's a, a, Pluto's like a fraternity. Yeah. Pluto's this, a senior. Otter's yeah, a senior. Uh, the guy who, uh, who ends up dating Katie is a senior. Like, I was thinking more along, not necessarily age. It's like movies you love when you're teenagers, when you're exposed to them first when you're teenagers. It's like the, the movie oh, that then, no, like, then you then might we not have anyway. been able to see yeah, uh, when you were younger. No. And yeah. then, um, I'm taking, but then I'm once taking you guys start Blade talking, two. Uh That's fine. <laughs> um, I am very happy with this last pick. Then I would hope that most of you guys have seen this. I'm going with Juno. Absolutely adorable very good. movie. It was on my list. Um, obviously it's high school, high school girl gets knocked up. Glad it's not yeah. relatable. 
very very <laughs> glad it's not relatable in yeah. any way to me but um yeah. uh ellen page turned into a great actress michael sarah we already talked about him um just an adorable movie and she's funny as fucking it yeah elliot page elliot page what i say H- who's ellen who? page yeah she's elliot page she goes by elliot page now oh does she yeah. i did he, not know that he. he i did not know that um okay well on that note jennifer garner we can talk about yeah, her and then the other guy uh, and then J.K. Simmons. No. Well, I love that guy. Yeah, he's He's awesome. not the guy I'm thinking of, though. He's like a... Uh, uh, it's the fucking dude from... The dad. Jason Bateman. Jason Bateman. Jason yes, Bateman, yeah. You, he's a you. douchebag in the movie, but just a great, great little teen comedy. I'm pretty sure that's one of the random comedies that, like, Rotten Tomatoes fucking loves. It might have been I, up for, like, Academy Awards. It's very celebrated. I think it's, yeah, like, one yeah. of those indie films, like... Um, my big fat Greek wedding, like it was just like a, a an indie film that was like an unbelievable box office smash. Like that's, I'm pretty sure that's the story with Juno. Elliot Page is on a it got massive 90, run. It got 94 yeah. yeah. percent on Rotten Tomatoes. From like uh, Hard Candy yeah. was a was a fucked up movie. I think Michael Fassbender's in that. She like kills him. Made money too, dude. Excellent. That's why I just yeah yeah, yeah yeah big money yeah I mean, over 150 million. Yeah, six and a half. To seven and a half million dollar budget and made two hundred thirty. Boo! That's a yeah. nice little ROI, Rico. Yeah. Have you seen Juno, Rico? I haven't seen it. It's uh, it's a perfect throw it on on a rainy Sunday afternoon. Uh, it was so it's cool on to USA see it. Like time. that was like a cool thing. Like it was like, yo, did you see Juno yet? I was like, no, I haven't seen it. And I remember feeling social pressure because people were talking about how good the movie was. Yeah. And so, it came out of nowhere. And then I went and like, saw it. I laughed a little bit. Movie. I was like, oh, that's a good movie. But I wasn't like, yeah. I think it's one of those movies people walk out, they're like, yeah, it was pretty good. But you're influenced to go see it at the time because it was just so so cool to like, I oh, do yeah, remember that. It? The buzz around it, Carl. It was a real thing. Like, Yeah. Yeah, Juno. Good pick. Um, all right, it's back to me. Uh I'm between a heavy hitter and one that's personal to me. Which one should I pick, Chief? I, I mean, you know what I'm going to say. Which one should I pick? I'm going, I'm going with pick. one personal to me, my, my last pick. Oh, uh, you have a ch- I mean, Ed, you got a strong board here. You, Yeah, people are going to – You really like you got sport, you got horror, you got classic, you got late 90s. That's true. I got a good You're mix. strong. You got mm-hmm. a strong board. But strong if you don't board. like Slash, I feel like you won't like I hate. I know See, I don't really like those, but that movie to me plays. And it's got every like the big yep. secret. Like yep. they did something fucked up like mm-hmm. in high school. Nobody could talk about it. I didn't sell it well enough. I should have sold it better. No, it, well, it's because I, I drafted two that you were probably going to pick. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to take the heavy hitter in hopes that one of you guys don't take it. I'm going to take one that I love. You're going to like You're this gonna take too. Angus. No, I love Angus, though. <laughs> I love Angus. I love Angus. I'm going to take Encino Man. Fuck! Ed, that was my Mr. Irrelevant. Was it? I yeah. love Encino Man. Never seen oh, it. I've, I've never I've, seen I've, that I've, either. I full movie blogged this like five times. I know you did, and I, I loved it. Encino Man. I watched it on did your you? blog. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's such a funny movie. Rico. It's the best. Pauly Shore, Sean Astin. Pauly Shore's great. Brennan Fraser. Fraser. How would you uh, explain the plot to someone who hasn't seen Encino Man 1992? Uh, Sean Astin is building a pool in his backyard, and he finds a caveman who is Brennan Fraser. And uh, I have seen this They movie. take him, and they try to domesticate him. And it's the most ridiculous <laughs> movie. But if you watched it as a kid, like you'll love it. And uh, that's me. I love Encino Man. Mm-hmm. The only thing I know about is that somebody older than me told me, don't squish the Slurpee. Yeah. And I always wanted to like sneak into a Seven Eleven and like try to do that. I'd be honest, I haven't seen the movie. Mm. Don't squeeze the juice. Yeah, like unfortunately, like Wait, I feel doesn't like he say don't squish the Slurpee? Wheeze. Don't, don't wheeze the juice. No, he's in the juice. No, he's in the juice. Yeah. Sorry, I get excited. This is a great movie. The the part where I, I'm sure you love this part, Eddie. Where Link Linkovich, yeah. who is the caveman that has defrosted and now he has transferred to high school and he's taking classes. There's the bad guy, the antagonist, the bad oh, yeah. boy. I'm trying to think of his name. He's a great bad teenage shush. villain. Yeah. Great shush Matt. guy. Matt. That was Matt. When Linkovich jumps from the second floor down and then they get into the fight and the caveman beats the shit out of the bad guy at high school towards the end of the movie is like yeah. an all-time fight scene in a high school movie because they just like brought a caveman back from 5,000 years earlier to beat up the bully. He's a great bully too. Matt's a great bully. Like blogworthy bully. Yeah, yeah, he's awesome. Um, so I'm happy to get it. I know you probably were hoping to get it. Yeah, later, no, I did have that was my that was my Mr. Relevant because I know that 
people that like teen movies like that sits very deep with people <laughs> that are passionate about this. And it, like it sucks too is if you're listening and if you're on the pod now too and you haven't seen it, if you watch it, you'll be like, oh, that movie's not great. But like you just kind of had to be there kind of movie. Yeah. I mean, it's fucking Rudy. And it's it's a guy who plays Rudy yeah, in high Paulie school. Like, and then obviously, yeah, great. No one's talked about this. In teen mo- great driver's ed scene. Yeah. Great driver's <laughs> ed scene. And a ridiculous driver's ed scene. Um, and see, no man. Rico, you're up. All right, so I got four like comedies that I've drafted. I got a ton of kind of some things, movies or like different messages. But it sounds like the way everyone respects the draft, it's more about the hijinks. Um, damn. I think uh, there's a ton that I, I'm going to leave on the table, but just the fact that it's one of the best movies uh, around, um, it's like a darker teen movie. <sighs> I'm going to go with Boys in the Hood. Mm. I don't Go ahead, Carl. I had it on my list. I didn't necessarily relate to it, but uh, you that's, can't say it's not a, a body? teen. What? Is that, that's Boys in the Hood, right? Which Y'all one? See a dead body? Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. That's like yeah. an iconic coming of age movie. That's like without a, a doubt. I just listened to like coming a, of age movie. Yeah, I listened to a deep dive thing. Like read an article on it. Um, great movie, kind of you know like really depressing too. That like, the, you know, the mother is burying the one son, and then the other yeah. kid's about to go fuck up his life too, and she loses Both. two yeah. kids, and the whole way Lawrence Fishburne is is you know cultivating. Cuba Gooding Jr. to like just get out, you know, mm-hmm. and like be a good man, and you know he kind of goes and gets stuck with him. It's it's you're right. I mean, it's just just a great movie, and like not what you would say in a teen movie, but you know, like the hijinks, but just a great movie and and different different way around it. But you know, I, I'll take it. Right, great movie. I, I gotta take it. Mm-hmm. I I've never seen it, so if anyone else is in it, Eddie, really. Seen it. No, it, it's, uh, it's, it's a forever. classic. It's an yeah. all time classic. It's a another tough one watch. I feel like is on TV all the time, but another one you like you stop on, and it like in the complete opposite way of like American Pie and some of these other ones. It is like educational because uh, it, it feels like very authentic to like how people live in South Central LA, um, and I think that is like what people say. Like Ice Cube is you know he based it on you know things that he went through, and and um, yeah, great 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 movie. Like a, a, an awesome movie. I can't believe you guys haven't seen it. I, it was one of those I've seen parts of, but okay. like, and a lot of these. I've same with it, Clueless. Yeah. I've seen part, but yeah. I just never really sat down and watched it front to back. Um, Chief, you're up. So I'm going to take one I, I bet most people haven't heard of, but I want that to change. So I think I've talked about it maybe <laughs> on uh, on uh, other, other episodes <laughs> before. It's called Outside Providence, and it's like this kid from uh, – it's a prep school movie. So it's like a, a kid who like doesn't belong in prep school is kind of like his last chance. Uh, he gets sent there through like some connection. Alec Baldwin's in it. Amy Smart's in it. Amy Smart is in like a lot of those, uh, yeah, yeah. that era movie too. And it is like a cult classic. And I guarantee you, especially this side of the room, I'm not, I mean, definitely you two guys would love that movie. Would absolutely. I've seen, I've seen really? it. It's been what? fucking forever though. Have you, you seen it? No. no. Yeah. Well, it, I get it, thrown out of this. I just like I know the way Ed's brain works a little bit better than yours. Like I just know, like I know that he would love that movie. I'll check it out. Yeah, um, and like same thing. It's just like, you know, your, your relationship with your parents. You're sent off. You're a knucklehead. You're getting in trouble. You you know have a thing with a girl that you you know is probably out of your league, but like she's in the bad boy. Like you know, like that kind of like. It, it's it is like just a classic classic movie and like it's hilarious it's like a genuinely hilarious movie like the main character's best friend is named drugs and i think the movie takes place like maybe early 80s something like that so he like gets a letter in the mail and it's like signed drugs and then like they open your mail at prep school so they like so they see this like do you have a friend named drugs and he's like drugs delaney it's like yeah <laughs> like how many people named drugs do you know it's it's an all-time like classic movie and like the people who know it's like one of those if you know you know and I want more people to know, so that's why I'm talking about it here. I'll watch it. I'm intrigued. Obviously, other people are going to say it's a bad pick because because they don't know what it is. Yeah. But Ed, remember like when we like you thought the prep school um, podcast we did 
for dog walk when it was just like my experience like you were like that's fucking wild this is probably like the most authentic look view into it into like how life is at prep school like i think everybody there's another one well I'll, we'll see if carl we'll talk about an honorable mentions but there's like another very I know famous what, i know what movie yeah, you're I'm talking, talking about you're okay talking about so that. you're not taking it so like dead poets yeah that's okay, yeah. Like, oh 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 I, I was gonna dead go Society's great movie school it is top. but that what? i was gonna it's go on my school list ties. i wasn't taking it say it again rico school ties oh yeah um yeah but that's I, I would say movie. I, yeah, no, for sure. But I, I think I w- the one that comes to my head, and I think yeah. most people's heads is, you know, Oh, Captain, My Captain from Dead Poets right. Society. Mm-hmm. And I would say that is like more stare, like what people think of prep school and outside Providence is more like what it actually is like. So um, love outside Providence. All right. Um, Carl, give us Mr. Irrelevant. <laughs> I wouldn't take this movie. But Ed penetrated the horror uh, genre as well, so I have to take Scream. Okay. Because to me, the high school, that, that's just all time. I haven't seen Scream in so long, but I would not have guessed they were in high school. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the whole thing, man. At the, that they last killed party a, at the they end. They killed there. the principal. Yeah. It's been forever since I've seen it. And they're all in that house, and, you know, uh, I mean, Jamie Kennedy. Yeah, yeah. It's got, I mean. <laughs> The only problem with that is the two two of the biggest characters are older, but still, it's definitely it. That's why, I like in the, movie. that was uh, was that was also Jennifer Love Hewitt, right? No, that was uh, Neve Campbell. Neve Campbell. Neve Campbell. Neve Campbell. Yeah. yeah, she was probably like twenty five. Rose McGowan. <laughs> She's in that. Yes. Yeah. Drew Barrymore Drew opening Bar- scene. Yep. Uh, obviously, Corey well, that, Cox they kill off Drew Barrymore, Barrymore yep. in the opening scene, but they had put Drew Barrymore on the poster. And that Drew Barrymore is like fucking massive yeah. when this movie came yeah. out. I was like, whoa, she's doing a slasher. Like, and then right away they killed her. And I remember that being like, oh, they just fucking killed Drew they Barrymore. They fucking yes. around right And here. back in the day, we used to call, uh, like, me and my buddy, we would like call, like, we would call dibs, right? And yeah, so yeah. I, I remember, <laughs> like, I had dibs on Nev Campbell. And when that, there was like, however long that movie was hot for like a couple months in the summertime <laughs> oh, yeah. or something for, yeah. so it was like yo i got dibs on nev campbell so it was like a big thing like i heavily identified with that movie it was like i it was close to me did you guys this, watch were you guys old enough for party of five mm, no, no i just but i know no. she's in that too. yeah well it's like it's her and jennifer love hewitt mm-hmm. so like, i heard I that is i was a good like show. yeah it, like i haven't seen it since i was probably 11 but I remember being like, oh, damn, like those two I girls. think, like, my aunts watched that, and I would see the commercials, and they'd be like, oh, yeah, it's a good show. Like, yeah. uh, Carl, I, this is the one slasher movie I did watch because, like, it was so, I had never seen it ever when it was coming out. Like, you know, didn't want to see it. And then I remember being, like, I don't know, out of work at, like, 22 and watched all four, like, in a <laughs> row. Is it in on? Is it in on it? Like, it's in on the joke? Scream? Yeah, they don't they don't take themselves too seriously. Like they right, yeah. Some it's of the, it's uh, weird how they like you yeah. can't really figure out what's going on with that. Yeah, they, that's like that's the thing about Scream. They like lean into some of the cheesy like slasher horror tropes. Yeah, and, right. Um, that's what kind of makes works. it Screams. Yeah, it works. Well, the original yeah. it worked great because it was the fact that you were following the story and they were talking about like yeah. all the slasher themes. But then as the sequels come out, I think it gets a little. And that's why it's a team like it's as much a team as anything. Cause they talk about how like the virgin doesn't, you know, and they talk about how this person dies and that person dies next. So there's a new one coming out in January too. So yeah. Uh, why January? Why not? October? I'm definitely going to, I think something. Delayed. Nev Campbell's COVID. in that one too. Are you, yeah. Oh, are you mad? Really? I took yeah. that. Do you wish I took no, something no, no, else? I'm fine. I mean, I could have had it. I took, I don't you do the summer instead just cause I think it felt like, I don't know. Just I like the theme of mm-hmm. the four of them in high school hitting someone and not knowing what the fuck to do and keeping the secret. I think it's very high school to me too. So I can give you quickly then my le- the other three that I had in mind. I, yeah, I yeah, had yeah. three others. Honorable right mentions. Here next. I joked about Angus earlier, but I do love that movie. I love Angus too. Angus dude. is I such a good movie. Heard of that one. I just oh, don't dude. think yeah, I just idea. know that like a very small percentage of people would have seen the when he wears the plum suit and he's Angus like, Angus Bethune. <laughs> Low key, one of the saddest movie deaths of all time mm-hmm. too. Is when his grandpa died. Yeah, I mean, thanks for ruining it for me. I haven't seen it yet. You're they, not going to watch they, it. This movie came out 24 <laughs> yeah. years ago. He still ruined it for me. Uh, <laughs> that Warriors, I thought that might have been a stretch, but that's like a really cool, like those teenage gang movie from New York mm. when they're riding okay. around. And then Dangerous Minds with Michelle Pfeiffer. Great song. Because yeah. that's in the classroom. I don't think we have very heavy yeah. classroom ones. I, uh, I, we started talking about it with Boys in the Hood a little bit, but kids. 
Rico, you kids, kids is right? on my list. I've Definitely. seen kids. I, it's one of those I'll never watch again. That's an uncomfortable. That, we we interviewed. Uh, what what's his name in the movie? Uh, Telly. Tully. 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 We interviewed Telly when we had the serious show, and that was the first thing I asked him. I'm like, yo, like I don't know how to ask this without like offending you, but am I supposed to like that movie? Because I don't really like it, but I've seen it like ten times, and it's like objectively a great film. But it's like one of those movies you watch and you're like, I don't feel good. Like I yeah, feel like no. sick after watching that. Um, I'll I run love through. Kids. What you said? I'll run through some. I still have a. I had a deep list. We I touched on no school legs. size. I have no legs. Is I'll yes or no? Is almost famous a teen movie? I had that on my list. I took it off. I took it off my list. Too. It's a it's a it's music movie. It's very close. All right. Yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. It is. So then kid loses his virginity. He's chasing the girls. Yeah. It's all like. It's, it's teen. It's borderline. It's That's very my borderline. yeah, but everybody Number else around all time. You know what it is? It's, it's just him as a teen. Everyone around him is older. It, it loses. Yeah. It's that's a stretch. Penny uh, Lane is a teenager. Though, yeah, she too. is too. Oh, she is. Yeah, yeah she is. Yeah. All right. Uh, all the right moves is a phenomenal football movie. Yep. Vision Quest is a great high school movie, but it's <laughs> it's he's kind of a loser. So it and it's only him. You know, he doesn't really have any friends. Uh. Save the last dance, obviously, with my girl Julia. Got to put that in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Saturday Night Fever is a little bit of a stretch, kind of like Saturday a, Night Fever and Dirty Dancing definitely were teen movies. Okay, for sure. Yeah, Saturday Night Fever Even is like Patrick basically Swayze a, was old, and that no one talks about that, but that's a highly inappropriate relationship yeah. between a sixteen-year-old yeah. and a thirty-year-old. Uh, yeah. Saturday Night Fever is basically like Boys in the Hood in Brooklyn to an extent. Okay, like he's got to get out of there as well. Uh, he Got Game is the best basketball movie going, but it focuses on one guy. Hollywood Nights, I'm going to give you a sleeper. The Hollywood Nights is a movie with Tony Danza, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Robert Wool. It's such a cult classic that Robert Wool still gets calls being like, hey, new bomb, like, and people like, it's it's worth it. Just watch it. It makes no sense, but it's hilarious. Uh, Scent of a Woman is a good high school movie, and I'm going to give you, I'm going to end on this, which will probably go for another half hour the way this is going. Is Back to the Future a teen movie? I had that on my list as well and took it off. Yeah. All right, so here's I why I took so. it off. It's it's one teenager hanging out with a mad scientist, right? <laughs> like it's it's yeah. like to me, you're like it's like a loser Lord. high school movie. You know, like I didn't really. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, I would say no. I think uh, all the I, graphic Back to the Future pops. People be like, "How do you get Back to the Future?" But it's it's not a teen movie. It would take it's away not, the theme of the draft. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not, not in the same category as Ten Things I Hate About You. Right, right. Yeah. Nobody uh, took the heavy hitter. I was saying. What is it? Uh, Bill and Ted. No, Bring It On. Ah, uh, that movie. Uh, it sucked though. No, that Bring It On was good, dude. Ah, you so point. bad. It was so bad. I really wanted to take Hoosiers. It's a fucking teen movie, but it's so No, I thought Bring It On was good. Yeah, I had so one. I, thought, I I love it, but Ranchy, I'm Carney, obligated Toro. to Dunst, too. curse yeah. it. Gabriel Union? Curse it? No, I was going to say I had one. Oh. What is it? I'm surprised none say anything is absolutely outstanding. I, I was going to oh, bring I, it yeah, up. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's not that great, though. I love I it. It's but see, I watched it for the first time like a year ago. I, I thought you were so, going to say like a month no, no, ago, no, no, and no, I was about look. to give you give you the, give you the business. Yeah, no, I was going to give you the business. I think great I only saw it once. <laughs> Uh, the Dude. Outsiders, Risky Business. Dude, the Outsiders, Outsiders is, is yeah. the, That's one of those, like, people are going to share me. Oh, ha, ha, the, the Read the book. book. <laughs> is fucking incredible. <laughs> West Side Story, anybody? Anybody? West Side oh, Jets God, and Sharks? They're remaking, remaking that, that call. Yeah, West Side Story. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think if I had any other. I've been erasing them as we go. I got, uh, so, it was in the, the uh, 1994 draft, but Hoop Dreams. Um, I don't know if it really would have fit because it's, it's like a doc, doc, kind of. Doc. But it's still... Basketball Diaries is my other one, but that's one of those for me. That's a top five movie for me all time. But to me, that's what, a fucking... What, Hoop Dreams? No, uh, Basketball, Basketball Diaries, yeah. but that's more like a serious drama, like drug film, yeah. and not so much a teen theme. So I, That's I an uncomfortable watch, that's, too. Yeah, I think a lot of those unbelievable, sports though. movies, like Remember the Titans, you could maybe... but Totally, yeah. yeah it's but about... Think, yeah, but at its, at its core, that movie's more about a 45-year-old coach. You know, I, like I would agree. Yeah, that's why you're splitting hairs with it. I, and I, listen, well, I it, think I I love that the panel respects the art so much of of this that we we all were like, yeah, yeah it's a great movie, but cross it off because it doesn't yeah, fit, fit. You know what I mean? So yeah, someone out there is mad we didn't even mention Wet Hot American Summer. I haven't seen it. Just I haven't seen the it. people it's, that like good. it are like obsessed with it. It's good. Yeah, it's good. I watched the the uh, the prequel show too. 
that they did, it was good too. Did uh, two hundred ninety thousand at the box office apparently. Wow. Bradley Cooper's in it. Both Jump Streets oh, yeah. are pretty good if we're talking new school. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 21 and 22 Jump Street. What's 21? Jonah Hill and the other... Uh, Channing Tatum, they Ch- both yeah, are. Yeah. Oh, they both are. I've yeah. seen the first one then, and it was pretty be fucking yeah. good. Channing Tatum deserves more credit for just being awesome. He's a, mm-hmm. a fucking hot... Hot he's sweet. Dude. Everything he does is funny. Yeah, he's great. He's supposed to be like a yeah. super regular, cool... Like, yeah, just fucking. normal guy, but he's just hot. So mm-hmm. I kind of like that about him. Um not another teen movie. Yeah, I yeah, mean, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. I thought Dave almost said it too. He's like, "No, I'm not taking that." It, you almost there was like I, a it, point that, in this where I thought you said not a teen movie or something. I said <laughs> that I don't like. I I love the movie Friday Night Lights. It's just like I think it's a sports movie first, then teen movie. I hear you. If that makes sense. Yeah, I hear. You. Yeah, I'll it's run a teen it down, movie, but don't uh, get out of here. Uh, White Sox, Dave, American Pie, The Girl Next Door, Mean Girls, Grease, Juno, Eddie, 10 Things I Hate About You, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, Rarsity Blues, I Know What You Did Last Summer, Encino Man, Rico, Super Bad, Can't Hardly Wait, Euro Trip, Project X, Boys in the Hood, Chief, The Breakfast Club, Friday Night Lights, She's All That, American Pie 2, Outside Providence, uh, Carl, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Days and Confused, Clueless, Cruel Intentions, Scream. Loaded draft. Loaded. Going to be a great graphic. Anybody got anything else, Rico? No, I just think like all the movies still left on the board could could be you know like talk about good films. They're all it's a deep draft. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was, and I think people are really going to enjoy us comparing the Mean Girls to uh, the Mets starting rotation yes, in 2015. That, uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> um, something only we can bring to the table when we get together, guys. That's why I've been on. I'll do this for the rest of my life. I also. <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, all, that's, that's an all time. That I forgot about that. That's great. That's an all time clip. <laughs> um, all right. That's it, everybody. Thank you for listening. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll see you then.